<laughs> I saw it, Logan. I saw it. Uh, I'm dead. I am dying. <laughs> Thank you for the bit. Poor Logan. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, oh. Just time oh, shit. Hi, Lumi. Hang on. I gotta get a piece of paper. Have it. Better men have tried, Rob. Hello? Yeah, you bet your bottom I seat it. That was funny. I saw it, I saw it, you're good. Yes, Logan, I'm here all week. Monday through Thursday, 12 through 3. You got it, dude. All right, I'll see you in the chat. More like poison ginger. Hello, Prince. Oh, thank you for 500 bits. Rob, thank you for the bit. I'm in line with the stars, I'm in sync with the earth. Hello? That's good to hear. Road Speaky starting that train. Hello, got me. <laughs> Imagine. Bob on the wall. Speaky on the board. It happens every time. About time. I like holding my breath for 72 plus hours. Kevin, thank you for the bit. I guess hello. Forget to retweet the going live tweet, guys. So again, hello, Poison Ninja. Hello, hello, hello. I'll be here, but if the phone rings, I'll have to answer for the next 30. That's fair, Dark Carl. Don't get fired. So I don't even think I would get... Well, hold on, hold on. I didn't think I would get that one, but I copped another G spot. Stop it, you did? Let me go look. We got a Wilson appearance, a coming. Okay, G spot over the day. Okay, okay. Coming in hot with a Jackson wink. Hi! Hi, hello. Let me turn that down. Hi, guys. And she's leaving on her birthday. I'm not streaming on my birthday. Still waiting for my winner from Thursday. Why don't you get on it, Rob? It's me that does it. It's, it's me that does it. I didn't Boo. get you your freaking thing. Hang on a minute. Ah, Flair is on the highway and it's snowing. Blech. Drop in, guys. Ginger Hot Mel. Hello. How are you, guys? We are halfway through level one heights. We make it to level two. Good morning, Wildstar. Boom, baby. You look amazing. Thank you, Lumi. What a cute you are. Spoopy Ivy. Uh, Lurshu. Uh, sippy sippy, I gotta get a drink first. I do not have a drink yet. Silver G. G G's on that. Let's get you up there. Okay. Good morning, Philip. What did you win? I'll make sure to get that story today. Uh, last week was a sticker page, I believe. I knew you were poison. I have procured plush Yoshi hat. Gotta see it. I knew you were poison when you... I knew you were poison when you walked in. Okay, we got a couple things to cover today. A couple things to cover. Getting to see you literally just turned my day around. I forgot that it was Monday and then I get to see you. Oh my freaking God. Today is God. infinitely better. Mel, Another what a beautiful thing book. to say. Campy Dave, tier three, first in the G spot this week, 19 months. Hello, Katniss. Um, actually, that's a lie. You're not the first. Fight Club's heart from last week is in there. Uh, Campy Dave, thank you so much. Boo! Tier three. I appreciate that so, so much. Do we get to see the mask on? Foul! 37 months. Holy crap. Campy Light Dave. Train has reached there level you go. Two. Nope. Boo. Love you. We're in the G spot. I'm keeping it. Hold on! <sighs> Getting to see uh, Mel, that's such a beautiful thing to say. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate the kind words. Tab, hello. The mask is intertwined with my hair, so no. <laughs> it's just a decoration. I don't even know what I won. I was on the phone reviewing my food. Ah, it was a sticker pack, I believe. Somebody can go verify that, but I'm pretty sure it was a sticker pack. Uh, another month in the books! Tier 3? Oh my freaking god! Not I a day goes by that I'm not thankful for meeting you. Twitch Unity, love you, G. Also, T-Swift wasn't at the game yesterday and they played like they they lost so if that's something you know she's got to be there for them to win hold on hold on hold on bolty 37 months thank you 
Appreciate appreciate that. Watsy tier three, another G spot. Watsy at 40 months. 40 months? Ginger, you didn't have something to show us today? <laughs> Are you on an hour early? <laughs> Time change. Ugh. Watsy, thank you so much. All the day goes by that I'm not thankful for meeting you. Watsy, same. I love you so much. I don't even know what this drop is for, so it's an entry into the giveaway. Pika B, Pikachu. With the mask on, Ginger, maybe at the end. You look, but I don't know who you're cosplaying as. Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy. Is today a secret? Or wait, what? A secret? It was a swift loss. It was. Wasn't Ivy on point, Jade? Is oh, is Logan! Well, we know what Logan's about to do, so let's get his name on the board, shall we? Uh, she's a good luck charm. I, we stand T Swift in here. We do. We do. Almost at level five, guys. Every streamer I watched that went to TwitchCon is sick with COVID right now. I was just thinking of that this morning as I was scrolling through my news feed on Twitter and I was like, why is everybody so sick? I managed to not catch it. Logan, thank you so much. But listen, no, I would have caught it by now. I would have caught it by now. Huh? Zach? Zach Cat? Zack Attacka, hello, welcome in. Ryan, how's it going? Bouncy B, hi DJ, hi Star Fox, Apollo with another 10. All right. Did the time go back? It did, it did. Show socks. Um, I can do that, I can do that actually. Rob, I'm not bothered if people know. Well, you know what we have to do? Because it's somebody's birthday today. We have to light the birthday candle. Guys, can we get a happy birthday for Watsy in the chat, please? Who did you think? <laughs> Thank you, Campy Dave. Thank you very much for Fartalica. I appreciate you. Let's get you on the board again with a gold star. Thank you. Happy birthday! Did I leave those on? God damn it! Shit! Boo. Shit! Shit! I... Fuck... Fucking heck. Uh, I, I forgot that I put them on on Thursday this year instead of, this um... This is Sparta! When, this year, this week, last week, instead of, for fuck's sakes. Hold on! Hang on, I gotta turn this off. I gotta turn it off. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop doing things. Stop doing things. <laughs> Apollo, thank you for the bit. Quick, 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 get it done, get it done. Ha! Winning! Um, Vegas is still screwing up my sleep schedule. It actually kind of fixed mine. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, GBB, what's good, homie? Hi, Flames. How's it going? Welcome in. <laughs> Poison Ivy doesn't wear a mask. No, I know I wasn't able to be around last week. Did I miss the snowflake peeps? Yeah, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> Can't be Dave. There you go. Thank you so much for Fartalica. Guys, we are on level five. Hype. If we finish level five, we do a giveaway. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I don't have COVID. I don't have COVID. Good. Can't be sick with COVID if you don't test that. Sort of. Old man Kevin, thank you for 100 bits. Apollo, thank you for 300 bits. Let's get you on the board, Apollo. I'm so nervous, guys. I don't know why. I'm just so nervous. Whew. Okay, breathe a little bit. Breathe. Everyone we knew and that came with us was fine. No one got sick. Um, let me catch up. Happy birthday, Watsi and Ginger. But it's still not my birthday. No socks, but with no socks. All right, Mel, you're entered into the giveaway. GG's, and now I will show socks, which aren't actually socks. Simper! What, you guys? Hold on. 
They're like feety things. I've got like feety things on, but I'm also wearing like we just had our kiwi socks underneath because I wanted green. You know, I was doing the green thing. Hold on a dang minute. Freaking give me a second, guys. Hold up. Watsi and Ginger birthdays. No, Fartalica master of farts. Happy birthday, Watsi. I miss G. It's not my birthday. Spring forward, fall back for those unsure whether in forward or back. Rafiki with another hood bits. Stop. Sinper, thank you so much for three gifted. Let me catch up. Slow down. No, they're off this year. So, uh, thank you, everyone. Very kind of you. Um, did you put the mask up to see better? Actually, it just Yay! hurts my face. It Happy hurts my face. Thank you so much Ew, peeps. Does that mean you I didn't do them? You. Because Mwah. that was us. What? Of course I did. Of course I did. <laughs> I'm still like two hours away from normal sleep schedule. I'm doing pretty darn good. Ginger, there was a throne gift you wanted to show stream. There is. I'll have to go grab it. It's in my room. Sinfer, with a gifted sub to Dacius, System Destroyer, Rotten Agenda, Tommy Z with five gifted, which means Tommy Z goes on the board. And then I have to put, hold on, Boro had nine gifted? So Tommy Z goes on the moon for a minute and then we replace with Boro. Tommy Z, thank you so much for five gifted. We've got Rotten Agenda, Fro Fro, Sage Society, uh, Violinist, and Medieval Fire White Fang. Wait, Sinfer was Rotten Agenda. I can't keep up. You guys are bonkers. Sinfer, thank you again for three gifted. I appreciate it. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay, Sinfer, board. Thank you. Thank you for the three gifted. Tommy Z. Take a trip around the moon. Tommy Z to the moon! Okay, borrow with nine gifted. Officially hit 600 gifted subs in the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, 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 so much. That is such a big accomplishment and such great support. Thank you so much. I appreciate you so much, Borrow. 600 in the community. Let me just hit you with one of these and one of these. Thank you. Borrow with nine gifted subs, topping them up at 600 total. We got Server, we got Lewis, we got Satan Savior, Help Life Alert, Divna. I got to meet Divna. We can't listen to the song. Next, uh, Draw, literally so toxic. Oh, Victorious and it's Macho's something something. Rafiki, thank you for another 100 bits. I appreciate you. If you're a Poison Ivy, does that mean I found the peace spot? <laughs> They're technically socks, yes. Blackheart, thank you. Thank you for the bits. I'm still so nervous. Whew. I'm like, I have the shakes Star a little Fox, bit. I'm not going to lie. I feel, like, I feel like we should go with the red heart glasses today because... You know what I mean? Hi! Hello! Let's welcome in. Never stop the chaos. Oh my god. You sh You sh You know? Poison Ivy, Ginger. Hi, Max. How's it going? Welcome in. Amuck, amuck, amuck. What does it mean? Level seven oh, hype, you guys. Blackheart, that's for you. When I got home, I was going to bed at 4 a.m. and getting up at 12. Wow. Not me. I figured uh, if I keep gifting subs, I can keep you at bay and make sure you don't try to kidnap me. Yeah, I have Tommy's use address now. <laughs> he gave me his address so I can send him out the pin, so... You know, put a pic in photos art for why I was late this morning. Um, Boston Asian gamer. I forgot to ask if the little one liked her hoodie. Oh, the one that I stole and wore in Vegas. Yes, dark side. That's for you. Uh, my life is poo. Rob, such a good boy. Awesome, dude. GG's borrowed. That's amazing. Glasses are on. It is a little itchy, Gold Wizard. I'm not going to lie. Where the leaves are, like kind of around the back of my neck and up my shoulders. It's a little bit itchy. It's a little bit irritating. 
Don't be nervous. It's just your birthday, Ginger. Shh. But it's still not my birthday. Happy Halloween trick or treat. Wear a costume and hand out treats. Never blow out a jack o' lantern. But if you do and see a kid with a sack over his head and a scarecrow costume, run. Apollo, thank you for the gifted sub. Hold on, let me go see. I'm still catching up. Your hair has gotten so long in the months you've been away. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> oh, since you are here, Poison Ivy, did you really get turned on by Batman or just want to poison him? I just wanted to poison him. I just wanted to poison him. Let's be serious. Watsy, it's the poison. It is. Also, in honor of Matthew Perry, could you be any could you be any cuter? <laughs> Ah, rest in peace. That that sucks. I heard about that over the weekend and I was super sad because like he's so young and honestly played a big part in a lot of us like millennials growing up. <laughs> Lake Show Venus by Bananarama. Apollo, thank you for the gift and stuff to Bobby Day. I appreciate it. Uh, there is no ivy in her hair. There is no ivy in my hair. You are worth it. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. Seriously, that is so kind. Good morning, lovely Dixie. Hello. Welcome in. You look beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Medieval Fire. Hello. Welcome in. You always do such awesome cosplays. Kev, thank you so much. Tomorrow's the last day. Tomorrow's the last day for, um, for a cosplay every stream of October. Tomorrow's Halloween. Last day. What did I do to you? Oh my, Ooh. I picked my poison and it's you. He is Canadian. Slary is Batman. Poison him. Oh, makes note to ship items for the ginger time capsule. Yes, guys, if you want to be part of the ginger time capsule, make sure you're shipping me stuff. We'll work on it. We'll figure it out because we wanted to find somebody that was willing to grab every, like, you know where I live, so that's fine. But for everybody else, we wanted to find a place to collectively send everything and then have everything sent to me. He is why I learned to be sarcastic. Ah! It sucks. It really, really sucks. We got B. We got two. Uh, yeah, I just got home from my last weekend of camping and I saw a post on it and I was shocked. I love Chandler growing up and watching Friends. So did I. He was my favorite character. Apparently, I also beat up the Prime Minister as a child. Matthew Perry? Put a photo of part of the weekend shenanigans and selfies and pics. I know it's not Taco Tuesday, but I thought you would like to see the Queens. Oh, oh, also, speaking of stuff for Taco, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I gotta open that. Tomorrow, we're gonna be doing like a Halloween costume sort of show off. Like, it doesn't have to be your Halloween costume this year, or maybe you don't have a Halloween costume you ever liked, so you don't feel like partaking. That's fully fine. But if you have a Halloween costume that you've done, or that you've seen that you really thought was cool or whatever we're gonna like have like a halloween costume show off tomorrow on discord so taco tuesday is ready for your pictures hold on um art gallery oh whoa lisa that's awesome okay and taco where did you say taco yes or did you say selfies and pics? It was, ow! Oh, I love it. Okay, hang on. We'll look at them in a second. Or maybe we'll look at them tomorrow because Halloween or what well, doesn't matter. Also, October went by too fast. Maybe Ken can come back tomorrow. If you want to repost your picture of Ken, please do. Back in a bit. All right, Ronan. The BG, hello. Sorry I missed you in Vegas. I had quite a crazy trip. Next time, though. Absolutely next time. Uh, that's where I get my sarcasm from Chandler. Chanandler bong. Yes, Matthew Perry was in the same school as Justin. Stop it right now. That's funny. Borrow, congratulations on your 10. Get you in the giveaway. Then Joy, then Rachel. I liked Monica. I relate to Monica on like the whole OCD cleaning thing. <laughs> yes, I can bring Ken back. Should we be in Marvel's category? Uh, absolutely, we should be. Let's get in there. Marbles. Boom. Trick or treat Tuesday. Okay, I gotta take these off. Can't fucking see. Tara bite me. I liked Smelly Cat. Phoebe was such a good character too. Oh, it's so sad. All right, guys, let's get Wilson out. Here we go. Well, son, do you have 12 different types of towels then? I I used to, but then, you know, like 
I had kids, and kids don't really give a shit about what you're talking about when it comes to using the correct towels. So I just kind of have towels at this point. But they're all folded perfectly. Where's my messy room? Where's the messy room? I personally don't have messy rooms. My kids' rooms are messy, so I guess those are the messy rooms. I had a crush on Jennifer Aniston as a teen. Oh my god, I still have a crush on Jennifer Aniston. She's flipping gorgeous. She's gorgeous. Boro did grab time. It was Boro that grabbed time hot, right? Change to oh uh, yeah, it's time to put Boro up there. I hope you had a nice flight around the moon, Tommy. It's time to put Boro up. Plus, thank you so much for for making that milestone. Again, I know I said it already, but it means a lot. All right, Tommy Z, thank you for the five gifted Boro. Thank you for nine. I feel like when you hit a milestone like that, I know I, you know, I make up rules all the time, but like staying on the moon for milestones, does that make sense? Borrow to the moon! Mel, thank you for saying that. I disagree, but <laughs> thank you for saying that. I did, sorry, but I'd be missing the start of streams when in the office. That's totally fine. Um, I know in the UK right now it's 4.30, so it's actually like I'm starting early, but I'm really not. It's you guys, it's not me. Or is it me because we haven't caught up yet? Honestly, it's so stupid. I feel like daylight savings time needs to freaking end now. It's it's fine. We have electricity for the farmers if they need it. You can't disagree with factual statements, not allowed. I'm very allergic to poison ivy. I feel like everybody is. All right, before we get started, please guys, if you haven't yet retweet the going live tweet, please, 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 please. Um, when we get to 40 retweets, I will... There we go. Pick 15 of you to be entered into the giveaway. We're at 26, guys. Thank you so much. Somebody think of the farmers! I have it confirmed, but I... Yes, Ginger can get rid of time change rule. Make it so. Uh, happy Monday, Poison Ivy. Where's your plants? I'm wearing them. I can't keep plants alive, let's be serious. Blackheart, what the hell? Think of the children and the farmers. Thank you. Lunatic, Thunderhead, John Walker, Antonio, She Beast, Chaos, Rogue One. Spaceman Splash, NateNuts.net, Carter the Conqueror. Thank you so much. Holy crap, Blackheart. All right, let's get you on the moon. Thank you so much. We want to get the two Schmolies out of the way. Yes, yes, I've got the thing open. We're good. Um, there is a giveaway happening right now, guys. We're going to be... No, it's three. What, what level did we make it to? Seven? It's three. Blackheart, thank you so much. Thank you so much for 10 gifted subs, Blackheart. Blackheart to the moon! Exclamation OF. I'm pretty sure farmers also hate daylight savings time because plants and animals don't give a shit what the clocks say. Neither do children. I'll have you know. It's always difficult when you have kids. Memphis, 23 months. Thank you. Okay, Wilson's Why in the way. Why couldn't the digital clock set itself Boo! back for daylight savings time? Answer, it needed a hand. Cheer smiley face. Funny. Don't forget that our time goes back an hour this Sunday. Yes, so ours goes back an hour this Sunday. So we'll be on the same level again eventually. Blackheart, thank you so much again for 10 gifted. That is wild and I super, super appreciate your generosity. Thank you. Oh shit, that song bass dropped. I, I added that. I made that myself. So, I also Shut made. Shut the fuck up, Ginger. I made the I made the the sub alert, and then I wanted it to be like a little more oomph for the ten gifted subs. No. 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 So I added a nice little bass drop in there. Just saying, I did that myself. Mm, that's right. I make music. I'm getting ready to leave work soon, so I'll keep stream oh playing God, on my headphones really? on the way back from work. No one do jump scares for the next thirty five minutes, or Dark Car will fall off his bike. I don't need money where I'm going. 
seven but didn't complete it so it's two for level five and one more for level six exclamation of did you stack the flux capacitor <laughs> memphis thank you so much and that joke is great uh, as a mischievous boy, I would crush poison ivy into liquid and then apply an eyedropper with it to the back of a hated schoolboy. If you were lucky, you could... You could get a vulnerable butt crack. Oh my god, Lendroid. Chaos. Our time change is next weekend, yes. Hate it. I hate the time change. It's so stupid. I feel like in the spring, we should spring forward and just freaking leave it alone. I'd rather have more daylight hours on the end of my day than in the morning because it doesn't matter. It only works for like a few weeks where you feel like maybe you've got a little more sun in the morning, but then it gets dark super, it stays dark super late anyway. You'll be moving further away again. I know. The names on the moon are like Flat Earthers Lunar. Oh my God, <laughs> Ginger, really? I saw that this morning. I, I laughed. That thing was hitting. Thank you, by the way. You look gorgeous. I see that you colored your... I, I did. So I normally don't for Poison Ivy. And I was looking at some makeup tutorials this morning. Or just pictures, actually. I wasn't doing tutorials. And I saw the one girl had done her eyebrows, too. And I was like, I'm going to try that. And if it looks stupid, I'll just wipe it off. But I feel like it totally works. Fuck off. I would enter, but I already used my luck winning the drop. Enter! Exclamation OF. I'm going to actually get Raiders and stuff open. Is, um, if you guys didn't notice, we totally forgot to open Raiders on Thursday. We didn't play it at all. <laughs> um, just wanted to see my name on the screen. Time is shit, so let's flush it. I went to work yesterday morning in the dark. And see, you'll have like a couple weeks after... Oh, I've got to update stream Raiders. Go figure. You'll have a couple weeks after the time change to like have daylight in the morning and then it just it stays dark later and later and later so it really doesn't make a difference after a couple weeks so it doesn't matter the rain here is unreal it could be snow <laughs> what if your eyebrow color does not change back well it will it's definitely just eyeshadow i didn't even notice but it totally makes it thank you thank you cab tech is a 10 all right. I dream of rain because we don't get much Katniss. Half hour in. <laughs> nope. I now going to work in the dark and coming home and it's dark. Ugh. I mean, I'm lucky enough that I don't have to leave the house for what I do. So that makes me happy. It's a me, cheese burber. Hey, cheese. How's it going? Welcome in. Our rain is so unreal. It doesn't happen. Stop going there, Rob to work <laughs> uh exclamation of if you'd like to win a free week at shimonly shamans uh we're gonna pop over to marbles for a quick minute well oh my god this whole thing is so different Boo! what ha unless one of us requests that you go outside true true not even 5 p.m here in the uk and it's already getting dark Blah. okay look how different this shit is Look how different this shit is. It's kind of cool. Grand Prix, 16. It's kind of cool. Okay, okay, I don't mind. All works the same way, and that's the point, right? That's the point. Nope, we don't want Buckshot yet. We want on the felt this and then buckshot race wait is everything set up properly max racers too high. everything looks good right sunset and rain is beautiful though true oh did you see the guy walking around the con with the grass plate to touch no i didn't see him damn it i will i totally would have done that it's cute she thinks she can get 16 shh, shh. yes i can Hi, Antonio. You got gifted a sub. Enjoy. No booth? Um, that would have been cute if there was like just a big booth full of grass. <laughs> Devs don't get to go to con, silly. They get kept in the in the dungeon. Madame Rue, hello. Welcome in first time chatter. How are you? How'd you find us? Some things are just not right. Remember, this supports gender. Yes, thank you, Star Fox. Yes, if you guys are going to buy any skins or any... Um, 
coins or anything like that, if you do exclamation marbles and follow that link, you... Not Katniss. Just bought you surprise gift. Maybe you like, maybe you won't. Not that I want you to choke or anything, so please don't. See here's Tilda sent via throne.com. Thank you. Memphis question mark? For the surprise gift? Show yourself! Costume tomorrow, yes sir. I totally touched grass. Not Katniss. It's not Katniss. And when it's not Katniss, it's usually Memphis. Philip, GG's. Good job. Huh? Thank you so much for the surprise gift, whoever you are. Something about choking? That's concerning. Hug a tree. Oh my god, I saw a girl on TikTok who had a booth at con. This was the second year in a row they asked her to do it. Nobody showed up for her either year. So this is what I mean. You guys are, are you having a booth, having a meet and greet? Who the fuck's coming? I met, so yeah, I met like a few of you people at, at con, obviously walking around and stuff. But if I had a booth, it would just be those people that would come meet me. It's not like I'd have a, I would be fairly alone. <laughs> I just don't think it's worth it for me to buy a booth. You know? Plus, I like walking around oh and stuff. Oh my god, Ginger, really? Really? Okay, whoever done that on Throne, she will love that. Ah! I don't, I don't, I don't spoil surprises. I always keep them a secret. Uh, oh, sippy sippy. Right, 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 right. Where did I go? I want to show you a different, hang on. Okay, get your balls in. I'll be right back. Be right back. I got. I gotta go get the thing that that Dark Carl sent. I want to show you. Shut the fuck up, Ginger. I heard that, by the way. I heard the shut the fuck up, Ginger. By the way, shitheads, all of you. Shitheads. Get your balls in exclamation play. Also, don't forget to retweet the going live tweet. Booth cosplay. I'd move heaven and earth to be that you're sweet, but you might be alone in that. <laughs> she met ammo again. I did. And the, the craziest part was it was the day that I was wearing the trash bag. <laughs> so I was like, can I please take the trash bag off to meet Amaranth? Just so you don't cry, though. I w yeah, I got to make sure I get a ticket to the con next year. I'll do security at your booth. We'll make them come see you. Uh, do not think that would be the case, Ginger. Your line would be around the block. It would not. People don't know me. Do you like it better in San Diego rather than Las Vegas? So we kind of touched on this last week, and there's a little bit of both there. It's like, yes and no, San Diego. I feel like was a little more chill, vibed, and relaxed, and everybody stayed at the con because there was not much else to do in San Diego. Whereas in Vegas, there was so much to do that... People were kind of spread out everywhere throughout the city. Um, and if you didn't plan enough time to do Vegas things and the con, I feel like you were spending more time doing Vegas things. Whereas I planned a week, right? So I got a week to do all the stuff. So I spent every con day at con. It, there's, you know, several ammo fans switched to Ginger when they saw her. Oh my gosh. I would spend the entire day with Ginger at her booth Get her food so others don't think she's abandoned in the booth. I would love that. You have almost 13,000 followers. Who would come meet me? You got to think those followers don't necessarily come to stream. So there's, let me see, how many people are in? 84 people in here right now. And maybe 1% of you guys could show up to con, right? Just dragging people over. Say hi to Ginger. I'm going to give you $10 if you go see the redhead in that booth and act surprised. Uh, then what would I do? You could stand in a black suit with black sunglasses on with one of those earpieces with the coils and murmur. Make me look important. Poison Bread Beauty, how are you? Sydney, I'm well. How are you? You better not have taken the trash. I did! I took it off! Uh, Bjorn, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the juice spot. You found it! Uh, not sure you play shooter, but if you do, maybe PUBG? PUBG? 
I, I used to play PUBG all the time, actually, so it's funny that you should say that. It was one of my favorite games. I got a 10! Can't be Dave, congrats! Um, looks at followers list. Yeah, people don't know you. I'd be in the line. There would be no line, but thank you. It would be more like a hangout. I think you'd be too busy pitching Ginger for sponsors while she sits in a booth corner. 1% of 84 of 84 is less than one person. Okay, so Paolo, I'd have like five people probably. If it's in Vegas, no worries. Lines are around the con for you. Every homeless person getting con tickets. So this is what Dark Carl sent, and it's super cute to put on my door. Not that my kids will respect this or anything like that, but it's cute. But what I was thinking is this would be just a cool feature to have in the back of the stream room when we move downstairs. So I feel like as much as it could be something for my door right now, it'll just be one of those things that you can see in the background of my stream when we move to the basement. Also, as well as, where is it? How can I show you guys? No, nope, that's the wrong way. This guy right here, Al bought me while I was at TwitchCon. This was at the Loot Cave. Um, and Al sent a donation for me to buy this light. So that's also going to be in the background of the new stream. And whenever we get down there, it's an eventually thing, you know? Since you took it off early, you got to wear it for another day. Gingerbread beauty. Definitely not gingerbread booty. <laughs> uh, unless we just leave it here. I don't know. We'll figure out something. Uh, you got to wear it for another day at the next TwitchCon. Fuck's sake, Mel. Yes, but when you put it, put it back on ammo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I was standing there with Party Marty Rob and a bunch of other people, and Party Marty was a little bit nervous to go say hi to ammo. And by that time, oh I had God, my ginger, really? I had my trash bag back on. <laughs> Uh, so I was standing there and she definitely 100% saw me in my trash bag after that. She probably saw me take off the trash bag to go say hi to her too. Let's be serious. Uh, I also played PUBG then that weekend I discovered Fortnite. Let me introduce myself. My name is Bjorn. Unfortunately, I am disabled. It is difficult for me to operate my computer. So I use a tablet with voice typing. I'm from the Netherlands. Well, welcome in. Welcome in. I gotta set boundaries though. I'm not waiting more than three hours to get a picture with you. <laughs> the kids won't even know that thing is there, honestly. They'd be like, what's this? And they'd slide it to offline and burst through my door and be like, hi! We won't see the offline one? No. Nope. Did you steal that? No. No. Uh, Booth is a good way to see if you have shrimps doing shit for you. Uh, if you had a meet and greet Booth, I would buy tickets and a plane ticket just to support you, Ginger. You are so sweet. I feel like she just yelled at someone who said the room should be done already. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of work to do down there. So much work to do down there. Her carry-on is filled with stolen merchandise. Facts. Hey, I'm not the one who took off took it off early. I don't make the rules. An ammo bag. Party Marty would go see ammo. Wouldn't go see ammo, so I said, fuck it, I'll go. Then you have to. Uh, or they would see online. Let's go. One of my friends also got ammo to step on her. I considered it. <laughs> I considered it because like that's the thing. You got to get ammo to step on you. But hello. Hang on. I got to check this. In the meantime, guys, you have one minute. You've got one minute to get your balls on the track. You brought up the stolen merch. We don't talk about that. It's snowing, freezing rain, and raining all at the same time where Slurry is at. I'll show you guys a picture Woody just showed me. She Beast, hey, you got gifted a sub. How you doing? Welcome in. This is what it looks like in Northern Ontario right now. Lifetime achievement? What you mean? If ammo didn't, uh, like being stepped on? If ammo didn't step on you, did you really meet her? What's stolen beanie? Do you're on early? I'm not! Your time changed. Your time changed. I do not understand the step on thing people. I, I don't know either, but it's just something. Looks like that here too. You friggin' liar. You friggin' liar. Luminology oh. just redeemed. Drop. Oh, okay. You have paper. I have paved roads! We're not ice road truckers, I reckon. If they don't notice it missing, it's not stolen. <laughs> 
Six inches of snow, he says. That is freaking nuts. My best friend cussed me out. She said it's snowing in Sudbury. There's a lot of snow. Stepping on is a fetish. In my opinion, a weird fetish. But there you go. It is a fetish thing. I didn't know about it until I saw a bunch of photos from Khan. <laughs> I definitely knew about it because people were... She, she was... Blah, 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 blah. People were standing on her. No. People had her stand on them last year too. Fetishes should be weird. That's true. That's true. All right. Um, time hop, first of all. Somebody tell Rob, thanks for taking care of Ginger on the TwitchCon event. What did I say? No. Snowing here now actually. Fatality. Oh, fetish. Fetish. The word fetish will definitely be auto modded. I wouldn't let anyone step on me who can brew beer from vaginal yeast. Literally anybody can. You don't want to be stepped on, period, I guess. I'm going to just text him back real quick. Ginger. Hello? Okay. We still have snow on the ground from last week. What? See, ours isn't sticking yet. So, so that's like a bonus is that ours is not sticking yet. However, it won't be long at all. We still have snow on the ground from last week. Kids will have to wear their snowsuits under their Halloween costumes. Ugh. I don't know what the temperature is supposed to be tomorrow. Let me go look. Tomorrow here, it's supposed to be like at the coldest minus four, which isn't terrible. Blackheart, pay to win confirmed. Blackheart, you're entered into the giveaway. GG's Blackheart. Okay. Next map, guys. Um, I'll try that beer. East is from sickness. All right, off to my physical therapy appointment. Enjoy the rest of stream. And I'll try to remember to post my Halloween costume. Yeah, you better. Old man Kevin is a 10. GG's old man Kevin. Uh, Twitch dragon, it was a pleasure. Someone had to do it. <laughs> Chef Larry, I welcome back. How are you? How was your weekend, my friend? Lala, how far did you get on the bus stuff? I was doing a heavy lurk, but I kept peeking in and seeing you guys working on the bus. Uh, you're living Belle Biv DeVos. You're living Belle Biv Love Love DeVos song. That girl is poison. Belle Biv DeVos. Uh, I'm glad I told my kids to get a costume one size bigger, right? Welcome to Canada, where when you're buying a Halloween costume for your child, you have to get it four sizes bigger so they can fit an entire snowsuit underneath. Um, that's my second one. Wait, what, Sappy? Nice! GG, Sappy. Uh, the bus stuff was cool. Welcome in, Lala. I'm going to be in so much trouble with the wife. Gas. Uh, Sputnik posted hi, Ginger, three minutes ago. Wow, I love being in our... I say hi to you. Uh, weekend here in the 416 was nice. Also, an Alice Cooper song, Poison. Uh, probably past your time. It's a group from the 80s. She loves me. I really do. It's not trick-or-treating if you don't have a snowsuit underneath your costume. Lala, you know what I'm talking about then. Do you guys do apple bobbing? I mean, for Halloween parties and stuff like at schools and like if kids have Halloween parties. Yeah, that's a thing here. I finished the stickers off both sides. Now just the front and the back and then sanding and painting. Tom made some progress on the chaos that is the garage. So I was watching and I was like, wonder what color they're going to paint it. Do you guys have a color in mind? Are you guys going to go crazy? Are you going to go black? Like what's the what's the plan for that? Cause your face would freeze. Well, we put them in like barrels with water. I made it to work and scared my coworkers cause I didn't tell them I was coming in. They thought it was the big boss and panic trying to find something to pretend to do. Oh my God, I love that so much. 
Fumex or Fumix? Hello, welcome in first time chatter. How are you? If she didn't see your message repost, she can get busy. Facts. What are we winning, by the way? If you are, okay, that's right. I forgot to even go through what the Grand Prix is. 16 races. The first sub to cross the finish line will be entered into the Thursday giveaway. It's not the first person, the first sub. Oh yeah, that. That too. We got to do a drop as well. Okay, I'll go set up stream raiders. You guys drop in. Okay, drop in. Oh, I got a drink too. You guys, I'm so behind. Drop in. Exclamation drop. Cheers. Mm. Oh my god, that's like heaven, honestly. All right, we're starting off with an unknown battle. Um, it's it's poison ivy. Poison Ivy. I don't know anything about her. Is anybody surprised that I'm doing a cosplay of somebody I don't even know about their character? Is anybody in chat surprised at all? Um, because, you know, that's me. I literally have, like, an entire skin on Stream Raiders for Black Widow, and I really don't know much about her either. All right, I'm gonna do a little battle plan here, guys. Exclamation SR if you wanna play Stream Raiders with me. I'd love to be your captain. What's up, pizza? One year my mom made me wear a jacket over my costume. What's the point then? I'm okay, what about you? I'm doing pretty darn good. Uh, white with turquoise stripes. Oh my God! I love that. Then we will do colored handprints of family, friends, and people we meet during our adventures. So you're going the fun route. And I love that so much for you guys. Uh, Zelix, hello, welcome in. Yeah, but after you dip your face to get the apple, it's like minus 375. True. That's true. I was going to say something. That would be amazing. Hi, Sputnik means more. True. Bob said hi to you. If Bob says hi to you, you know you've, uh, you've won. Uh, you know I'm gonna have a hard time getting through next month. Ginger's birthday will help a little, but it's always a month of joys. But it's all... Also, always the month of Joy's birthday and the month I lost my mom and my dad. That November do be a difficult one for you. Um, I'm glad you can find some happiness here with me, though. You're like heaven. You're like heaven. <laughs> Bitch, please. This little bit of snow doesn't affect the snow. Even if we got two inches, I'm letting my little kids go trick or treating. The only time I can let my kids go out... <laughs> The only time I can't let my kids go out if it's, there's a serial killer. A Ooh. blizzard for me won't stop Halloween. You crazy no-headed headed scarers. What? Don't make me speak to your manager. Okay, Tinker, congratulations. You're entered into the giveaway. <laughs> That's not what I meant. Tinker, congrats. Zelix, please join me on the dark side. Hi, Poison Ivy. Hi, Fox. Uh, I promise that was my guess. Liar. I think she's a stalk of celery. I, yep. That's the one. She's so s strangely cool. I feel like I remember like a Batman movie with her in it, but then I was like really young and I, I don't know. I have no idea. Was it Uma Thurman? Did you see the Nitro news for partners and affiliates? No, Lyle. What is the news? I'd recommend that you watch the Black Widow movie to get knowledge, but we both know that won't happen. We both know that will not happen. I watched Endgame without watching any of the other movies. Come at me. What day was Joy's birthday, Logan? Yep, you always find a way to make me smile even when I don't want to. Well, that makes me happy. Guys, exclamation SR if you want to play Stream Raiders with me. I'd love to be your captain. Serial killer. Get your units in. Can Ginger talk today? Apparently not. No trick-or-treating when they're serial killers. That's how we lost tricks. She would have been 66. Poison Ivy is Batman villain. Yes. Uma Thurman played her. I thought so. It was definitely Uma Thurman. Detachi, hi. Rob, did you even know what was going on? Have you played the new Spider-Man game? No, I have not played the Spider-Man game. Okay, we're going to pop back over to Marbles here, guys. No one in chat would resist her kiss, not even the gals. Yeah, there was some action scenes, and then the good guys won. Basic superhero plot. Hi, Apex. Oh. 
That was the wrong button. <laughs> but it's still not my birthday. That's the one I meant. Okay. It's been a minute. Also, Endgame for me was a 6 out of 10. Infinity War, though, 12 out of 10. I have seen exactly zero of those movies. Shut up! As a small team, we're always trying to make sure our time is prioritized and spent on the most impactful areas that let us help players and streamers and continue to succeed in the game studio. Over time, we've seen a steady decline in unlocks and partner Boo! affiliate rewards in Nitro. So we're making a change to the Nitro side of the partner program. Uh, we're always trying to make sure our time is prioritized and spent on the most impactful areas. Over time... We've seen a steady decline in unlocks of partner and affiliate rewards in Nitro. So we're making a change. Is it going to be easier? We've made a decision to discontinue new partner and affiliate unlocks in Nitro. Yada, yada, yada. Nitro will remain active and playable for all captains, but we're also looking at different perks. We can offer our partners and affiliates such as exclusive Twitch drop events. Okay. That's okay. All right, guys. You've got one minute to get your balls on the get track. Get your balls on the track! Uh, yeah, every superhero, really. Poison Ivy was also Drew, a Drew Barrymore movie. Wait, what? My favorite movies are when the bad guys win, like No Country for Old Men. That was a good one, dude. I watched that one, and that was a pretty good movie. So what does this mean? We'll be honoring a final handful of unlocks submitted before Tuesday 31st. But the ability to unlock or submit future rewards will cease. Streamers with custom items in the game can continue to earn their revenue share on the purchase of those items, but won't be able to make progress towards new goals. Streamers can still progress to affiliate and partner through playing Nitro. Okay. I basically get it. Like, there has been, like, when, when Nitro first released, it was, like, everywhere. And there was, I was getting, like, a couple hundred viewers. It was super, super popular to start. And then it kind of fizzled out. Um, if you have any outstanding unlocks, I do. I do. So I have till tomorrow. Please be aware any submissions rejected for copyright or other reasons will likely not make the cut for this final skin release. So be mindful of what you submit. If any partners or affiliates have questions. Okay. Well, thank you for letting me know. I think I do have an unlock to send in. Let me go look. I can actually look from here. Uh, partner rewards. I literally have starter car wrap, honk pack, and another. I have two car wraps. So what I should really focus on after stream today is just submitting some... F oh, hang Gents. on, guys. Hi. Hi! Just wanted to tell you to have a good stream. Thank you! And don't let chat be too trolly. Mm, no promises there. Um, okay, I'm going to write this down, actually. Uh, I could just put in the most random skins, honestly. Nitro... Honk... And... Skins. Underline a bunch of times. Okay, so I will do that. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Sounds like Night Night Nitro. I love when you accidentally hit a button. Example, the face tracker. When you're just awkwardly staring at it. I know, right? Sputnik! That just kept zooming in. I watched uh, Molly's game last night. Pretty good player. X is a duck, though. Dick? I watched Molly's game last night. Pretty good player. X is a dick, though. Molly's game. PMO! Congratulations, you're entered into the giveaway. PMO 83. GG's. Next race, guys. Exclamation play. I feel like fewer people are playing Nitro. I feel like you have a game like... Unfortunately, you have a game like Marbles that's just kind of always just going to be the one that people play in the background of their stream and i don't i don't know if it's because of the reward system in marbles i don't know if it's because it's just a little more easy and it doesn't take as much thinking behind the scenes like like i said you can play nitro with exclamation play but you can customize your car and stuff like that maybe they put too much into it i don't know i have no idea uh remember you can tangia guys yes you can use my voice for tts you can also use bob's voice for tts i like movies where the hero gets the girl at the end like a prize you know what movies i don't like besides most movies that have to do with sports because the endings either they win or they lose and they usually lose but they still are happy or whatever the fuck or or they win there's like there's two outcomes to movies that have sports as like the main theme do you know what i mean Except for the... Is it the longest yard? No, 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 no. It's 
the blind side the blind side was more about the story than it was the game um do i need to do anything else guys uh we did the drop it's about his underground po it's about an underground poker ring player x is appropriately toby mcguire did you hear about the hockey player yes actually rob texted me and told me about that that's freaking crazy i prefer marbles to be honest i feel like a lot of you do i feel like a lot of you do to the other thing yeah easy it's just like a first date <laughs> what <laughs> they haven't done anything new in nitro that's the issue no new maps can't have everyone play if over 250 people but they learn a valuable life lesson in sports movies. Exactly. So if they lose the game of whatever sport they're playing, there's always like some big life lesson that they've learned along the way. And that's like the point. But it's just the fucking ugh. Remember the Titans has the best moral in any sports movie. Yeah. That accident is a yikes. I barely play marbles either. Honestly, as as a crew we're here and we're mostly just chatting marbles is something that we have in the background to to gain entries to the giveaway for thursday when when anybody asks me like what what do i stream I, i'm always saying I'm, I'm i'm a just chatting streamer i really really am because let's be serious <laughs> i am i can't stand underdog sports movies like friday night lights Ugh, they drive me friggin oh my god my contact just went crazy because i rolled my eyes so hard they're trying to force all players in the UK Hockey League to wear both hand guards and neck guards. I feel like if you're if you're playing a sport that there's blades involved in, a neck guard is not a bad idea. He's not the first person to have his neck sliced on the ice. There's many, many videos out there of other people having it done. Uh, the lesson is there's only one winner. <laughs> so no big streamer can play with their chat is... So no big streamer can play with their chat. It's a fun thing to randomly do every once in a while, and that's about it. Mighty Ducks are the best sports movies. Uh, I wrote a short film about cars. I called it Catwoman is a Whore. Uh, well, I wrote, wrote a short film about sports. I called it Catwoman is a Whore. <laughs> true, true story. What about The Sandlot? I, I watched that a long time ago. I don't really remember it. The Waterboy High Quality H2O. H2O, H2O. I'd like to be entered on Thursday. Okay. Catwoman is a whore, though. Top three sports movie one. Remember the Titans, the blind side, and the greatest game ever played. I've only seen the blind side out of those. Okay, Mighty Ducks is the best, too. Well, I got the video proof. There was a guy recently who had his wrist sliced, too. So, you know hockey gloves, how big they are, right? They're huge, and they're super, super padded. On this side, it's just cloth. There's nothing on this side of a hockey glove. So if you get a puck or a skate to the hand, you're fucked. And what are you supposed to do if you break all the little bones in your hand or get your shit sliced open and tendons are like sliced and stuff like that? What are you going to do? Like as a hockey player, that's your bread and butter right there. All right, guys. You've got one minute to get your balls on the track. Another good sports movie was Bloodsport. I've never seen that. Blades, sticks, and frozen chunks of solid rubber. Yeah. Shares this turkey sandwich. Oh, a turkey sandwich? What'd you put on? Did you put mayo on it? You need mayo on a turkey sandwich. I'd prefer to do it indoors. Have you tried Kokoro as a game to play while chatting? No, but I was playing a game this weekend that I, um, I, I fell asleep in a stream this weekend. I don't know who's, but they raided somebody else that was playing this little game where you're dropping fruits into a container and you got to match them up and then they get bigger. I forget the name. I thought that'd be kind of fun to play on stream as something in the background. Catwoman is not a whore. Yeah, Kane got his wrist cut. Ooh. Hey, Kraken. Rollerball original is the best sports movie. We need more units! The hockey midway game at Canada's Wonderland is something you'd only see in Canada. <laughs> really, I've seen players catching shots. That must hurt. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Fuck me. Mel. You don't like mail? My favorite sports movie will always be Dodgeball. See, see movies like that. There's like big competition. And they're practicing, and it's the underdogs, and it's the thing, bop, 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 and it's like they're either gonna win or lose. There's not very many outcomes. Mantra card. All right, give me a sec. I thought I pulled one out to be prepared today. I guess I didn't. What's the one with Stifler in it? The Enforcer or something? Mayo's the worst condiment. How very dare! 
How very dare. Sorry, are you still on the road or have you made it there? Are you at the airport? If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. The goon? The goon? What's... Sorry, there is nothing to repeat. Okay, Siri. What's the one thing with uh, the enforcer or something? Goon? Mayo's the worst condiment. You bite your tongue. You bite your tongue. Uh, how old am I? Bad news bears. Bad news bears. It's going good. A little slippery. Goon is the last enforcer. Is that it? Goon, the last enforcer. Is that it? It's called Suica. Yes! I got addicted to that over the weekend. The wrench coat is rip torn. I thought that was dodgeball. Yikes. Stay safe out there. Horror movies are the Shut same. Up, Dave. You live or... Yeah. Happy Gilmore is the... Okay. I love ha Happy Gilmore. But maybe it's because, like, simply it's because of the nostalgia of that movie. The rest of y'all are wrong. Happy Gilmore is amazing. Goon, Last of the Enforcers, was the sequel to The Goon. I don't think I've seen those. Hard to argue this one. I got addicted to this... Holy shit. Guys, I need to get my nails done. They're too long. Wildstar, congratulations. You're the first sub through the finish line. It is dodgeball. The actor saying it is... Oh! Major League was a funny... Major League... Moneyball. Go to your happy place. Goon is a hockey movie G. Ginger has coke. I really fucking do. Star Fox, congrats. Congrats, you're in the giveaway. If you want a piece of you want a piece of me, Bob? No, I want the whole thing. The price is wrong, Bob! <laughs> uh Happy Gilmore is such a good movie. Alright. Exclamation play, get your balls in. Ooh, money ball was good. Um, we're gonna pop over to here for a quick second. And we're gonna read this. He hearing inner guidance. Hearing inner guidance. My intuition flows whenever I am still. That's an okay one. Hey, Bones. He's laughing. He's having a good time. Angels in the Outfield was a silly sports movie. Yes. Uh oh. Happy you learned to putt. <laughs> Uh, hearing inner guidance, my intuition flows whenever I'm still. So does that mean like chill out? Like chill the fuck out? Is that what that means? I hate that clown. <laughs> uh, Space Jam, the original, not that atrocity of a sequel. I haven't seen the sequel, but I remember seeing the original. I was locking up work when you showed the sign and the signal was lost while riding home. So I missed the last half hour of stream. The price is wrong, bitch. Grizzly Adams did have a beard. Is that... Is that hockey net regulation? Space Jam has no flavor. I just... I don't remember liking Space Jam. Guys, we are going to fucking lose this battle. 12 minutes left on placement. Place your units if you have them. Exclamation SR Raiders battle. Fight. Unit. All those things. <clears throat> this guy eats shit for breakfast. 100% rip. Guys, we need more units. I know I've been yammering on, and I'm also like, I haven't played this game since last Monday. Wait, two Mondays ago? I am, I am. Good. Good. All right. In the meantime, let's get back over to marbles. We're race 4 to 16. How's our time doing? 1.30. That's... <laughs> Grizzly Adams did have a beard. A video says a thousand words. I just won in my pants. Thank you for the clip. Let me check that out. Oh, shit. We still have a giveaway going, guys. I'm so bad at this. Hang on. What is this? Exclamation OF. Exclamation OF. If you want to win a free week at Schmolny, I'm giving away three. Three. Star Fox. Ginger has Coke. I really fucking do. <laughs> oh my god. Terrible. Terrible, but they are they're getting very long. And what's happening is I'm having a hard time doing anything. I was gonna say typing, but lost the giveaway, born to lose. It's funny because you know these are quotes, but you remember none of them. Yeah. Only pans cooking at its finest. 
All right, you guys ready? I'm gonna get a piece of paper and write you guys down. OF, I'm doing three. The Morticia pick on Shmolnia's fire. Ah, I'm glad you like it. I really like how uh, I did about three Morticia ones and I'm, I'm glad you like how they turned out. Drum roll, please. You aren't cool unless you pee your pants. Wow. There's still a giveaway running. What are you complaining for? I've been waiting four days. <laughs> I know, shit. Non-stick cookware for bachelors. All right, first winner is Card Kraken. Storm is here. Hey, Stormzy, welcome in. How are you? <laughs> Memphis. And was that you with the uh, the gift and Fairlight? Thanks, guys. Enjoy. I'll get those out to you guys after stream today. Sex, someone surprised gifted. What was I going to get ginger? Some fuck, someone surprised gifted what I was going to get ginger for her birthday. Guess I got to keep. What do you mean? How do you know? Wait, how do you know? I'm glad the Space Jam sequel was a flop. Further proof that LeBron isn't nearly the same as Michael Jordan. You should have Morticia to the merch like Wednesday, kind of like a set. I could 100% do that. Bark, bark, bark. I'd like some poison with my ivy. What? Hi, mystery. I looked at the surprise gift. Just how do you do that? You can look at the surprise gift. You can look. Wait, what? So anybody can see it. Stormzy. Storm is here. Oh, okay. Yeah, Ginger, there's a reveal button. So you can reveal it too. I thought only like the mods and me could reveal it. Okay, 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 okay. I did not know that. Well, that's good then. Hello? Hey, Resub Kraken. Thank you so very much. Let's get you on the board. Sub Babby. Sub Babby. Where could we go to send you gifts? Why? That's a good question, Watsi. And I'll tell you where. Exclamation throne. There's my wish list. Guys, never feel obligated to do anything off the wish list. However, if you're looking for something different for the stream, if you're looking to not do bits or subs and you want to send something physical to me, you can do that if you go to my throne. Actually, it's not all physical stuff because a lot of it is just gift cards. So, anyway. Um, I'll, I'll show you guys what I've got on there so far unfortunately the uh the uber gift cards were only for Amer uh canadian ubers so all of the gift cards that i got so far that i thought i was going to be able to use for twitchcon i was actually not able to use them for twitchcon i had to actually spend money but then i got a monorail pass which was way cheaper and that worked however i'll still use them in toronto and stuff so it's, it's not going to go to waste so anybody who gifted uber gift cards thank you so much plus i figured out my starbies account it's me. Hi, I'm the problem. I'm the problem. There was something wrong with my account. And anytime I tried to use the Starbucks things, it was like unregistered or something like that. And they could see that I had money on the cards, but for whatever reason, it wasn't working, right? Oh, wow. That is so cool. And what if we wanted to buy your merchandise? Gingerbabeauty.com, guys. Monorail, monorail. The monorail isn't perfect, but you had the perfect hotel for it. I did. I was staying at the Westgate, guys. I wasn't going to, like, let that information out while I was still there. But we stayed at the Westgate, um, which literally has a monorail stop on the hotel. So it was absolutely perfect. Um, there's still a lot of walking involved. Like, when you got to different um, stations, there was still so much walking. But hold up. There's a monorail in Vegas? Yeah. Yeah, there is. And it goes to a lot of the major hotels and stuff. Like the major landmarks. Major landmark. <laughs> Seven. Techno Viper. Tech Techno Viper. Techno Viper. Hi, welcome to the G Spot. You found it. I can't sound out words. I was today years old. Why would you ever know that though? I didn't know that. Yes, we have a monorail and it was a terrible decision. You think it was a bad decision? I think it was a good decision. You can't get anywhere on the strip. You can't like you can't like 
as people as like a tourist you cannot um you can't get an uber to like a caesar's palace you have it'll it'll drop you off like underground in the parking garage and stuff horny dean well son hi Hi, Alki. Yes, Abala. How's it going? I looked at your hotel on Google Maps. I even looked in your windows. Ooh. <laughs> it's not on the strip, though. Coincidentally, today is my anniversary. And your birthday? Techno Veeper. I walked the whole thing same. Especially when the F1 track is going up right now. Ugh. Oh, I have a question for those people in Vegas. Hang on. Let's start this race. You've got one minute. To so get all obviously on the F1's going to be there for like, what, 10 years? What's the scoop then? Do they take down everything after F1 and allow Vegas to continue to be Vegas for a minute and then put it all back up in the fall? Like, what's the deal there? I thought I had a good idea for a glyph. Clearly someone else had the same idea. I'll find something not much time left, though, to uh, in time to arrive for your birthday in 18 days. You technically have till hold on. the 16th because that's my last stream of the week <laughs> or or monday the 20th right like <laughs> oh pardon me techno v anniversary of my birth oh my god thanks rob you should have redeemed you should have a redeem yell my name wrong they must do surely the scoop is a ride vehicle don't need them putting up grandstands like Carnival Rise. Just seems like an accident waiting to happen. So they're going to stay up. It only takes 15 minutes to go from one end to the last stop, which is pretty decent. True. Uh, I, Dan, I Dan Hype. Hello. Welcome in first time chatter. You can get it when not in stream. I'll order something tomorrow. Well, thank you. You don't have to do that, but I do really appreciate it. It's fun to open stuff. Events are events. They only have it up for said event, but they do keep some things if it's neutral for another event because it's busy with events 24 7. what in the end of the race i would think so that's what they do in monaco oh i see it's sort of behind the strip kind of yeah it's behind the strip yeah so and then it drops you off kind of like behind things and you gotta walk to the things howdy tess how's it going that's cool the gift shows up late for her birthday it's just an early christmas gift i hate i hate it November birthdays. I feel bad. It's not that I hate it because oh my god, presents. I hate it because I feel bad that people that buy me birthday gifts and also Christmas gifts. It's like, just got gifts. Stop. Care boy, congratulations. You're entered into the giveaway. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah, 100% love Philip. Holy. My first top 10. Yep, my birthday is exactly six weeks before Christmas. Holiday merch. Wow, there is a holiday sticker pack, everyone. There is! Let's go peek at it. Let's go peek at it! Here's the holiday merch. We've got the Ho Cubed. We've got the It's Fine, Everything's Fine, Scrambled Up Christmas Lights t-shirts. Uh, we have the G Snowflake, and it has a snowflake on the lower back, just like I do. And there's the sticker pack, guys. Bob! Thank you so much, Stormzy! Welcome back to the Ginger Gang. Bob, thank you so much for, for the gifted sub, Stormzy. Enjoy the Gmotes. Am I dead? You, you very well might be. It runs until Monday, midnight Monday to Friday, and then 4 a.m. on weekends, I believe. Uh, and it was supposed to go to the airport, but damn taxi companies. I feel like I had some thoughts on it going to the airport, and I feel like it just would have been so busy. Um, it would have been way too busy if it did go to the airport it might it just might just be always always crowded but still would have been nice carrot congratulations next map is taking flight i did wonder if people just be spending the whole day walking up the strip uh yeah that's basically what you do minus 13 days before christmas would you rather have a November birthday where you get gifts and then gifts or a Christmas birthday where people buy you one gift for both Christmas and your birthday? Ah, that's a tough one because like as a November baby, I already feel bad that people who do buy gifts have to buy them twice like quickly. So it's almost better if you're born on Christmas and then your birthday and Christmas gifts are kind of combined. But I'm a different person. It would kill you. We walked from the strip back to the con that one day we'd done 27,000 steps. Someone in here deserves that pillow. 
Have you watched The Good Doctor? If not, you definitely should. I have not. My dad's birthday is in November and he said he hated it because he'd get gifts and then he couldn't that he couldn't use until summer. That's another thing too, right? Like so having a winter birthday when you when you live in somewhere like northern or in Ontario where I live like it's not like my parents could go and buy me a bike. They could, but then I just have to stare at it until like May or June. <laughs> So it's a little more difficult having a, a November birthday. Like one of my kids is born in January. It's the same thing. It's, it's January 7th. So it's like 10 days after Christmas. So that's super, super close to Christmas. Plus anything we buy our kids for Christmas, they still can't use for, till summer. Like if we buy them like rollerblades for Christmas or like a freaking skateboard or something like that. It just sits there until summer. God damn it. I need to move somewhere warm. Um, I always get in here before I get paid. <laughs> there's so there's so many steps. Uh, I know, right? More options is a good thing. I found out at weekend family doing gifts now, so I have to find things for family. My brother's birthday is a week before Christmas and mom's is nine days before Christmas. So your birthday isn't a problem with gifts. Birthday's November and hello? What's What's the purchase time find below? present one of you deserves this <laughs> guys exclamation enter if you want to win that pillow exclamation enter there's a giveaway happening right now watsy thank you so much i appreciate that let's get you in the special spot our mass transit here goes to the airport and it's easy Ooh, let's pop over here exclamation enter we're gonna lose this but that's okay it's our first one back. It's our first one back. It's fine. Um, I don't care about my birthday, so whatever. Neither do I. <laughs> Ginger's all like, don't buy me gifts. I am. My birthday is on US Thanksgiving this year in November. That's like five, nine miles. Crazy. I knew someone born on Christmas. Morning was Christmas stuff. Afternoon was birthday stuff. My aunt was born on the 26th, the day after. Isn't it? Or is it more? Wait, what? My dad said he got a bike and I just had to wait. <sighs> Ginger turned into an orange jumpsuit for green, turned in her orange jumpsuit for green leaf jumpsuit facts. I got a bike for Christmas one year, but we were living in H Haida, Gwai? What? What's that? Is that Hawaii? What is that? <laughs> uh, much like an engine then is what you're saying. What? Or in the southern hemisphere oh oh like yeah my oldest got a car engine for christmas and she just had to honestly it sat on my kitchen table until we installed it in the car <laughs> i mean this is a tiny thing but still oh fail we knew this was going to happen it's fine we are going to get right back into it though so exclamation sr if you want to play stream raiders and help us win amigard give me exclamation enter watsy but it's your birthday yeah watsy you should put me on bod. What is your favorite Spider-Man movie? I've only seen the one with Tobey Maguire. I haven't seen any other Spider-Man movies. So I suppose by default, that would be my favorite. Even though I probably didn't like it. I doubt she has seen them. I've seen one. I've seen one. Weirdest gift ever, Ginger. <laughs> but also cool, right? Like imagine just having a motor under the christmas tree you said it right it's a small island off the coast of bc oh okay w toby isn't that what we do for birthdays name on bod oh yeah i thought you were talking about like for the this is not the right marker for the for the gift exclamation enter we also have to do your candle so let's do your candle did you dye your hair more reddish for this costume this is definitely a wig I don't know if you're going to be able to see. Maybe put you on the shoulder. I have too much hair going on. Logan! Congratulations, Logan. You must see Phineas and Ferb if you haven't. I have not seen Phineas and Ferb and it's likely that I never will. It's hard, Watsy. Just keep trying. That's me on the mask. Oh, wait. I forgot to write happy birthday. We could do that. Let's go, Logan. Congratulations. 
GG's Logan, that's awesome. Thank you so much, Watsi, for gifting a gift on your birthday. Appreciate it. I hated Scooby-Doo. I hated it. I hated it. I hated it so much as a kid. Exclamation SR. We need more Raiders. Why? I don't know. Psych. Hi. Welcome in first time chatter. How are you? Bruh. They were always just in a freaking mask at the end. It was the same every time. I hated it. So when I was a kid and Scooby-Doo would come on, I'd go watch the cooking network. Click the link in the winning thing, Logan. Yeah, Logan, click that thing. Click the link and uh, claim your prize. Hi, Treasure King. Uh, we have to light our birthday candle for Watsy. See, where did I put my lighter? I was just playing with it recently. Lighter? Hello? I can't... What am I sitting on? I literally just took it out of the shot. I took it out of the shot. I put it somewhere, but of course, I don't remember where I put it. God fucking damn it. Okay, well, I'm going to use my brain for a sec. Ah, found it. Okay. This is why we can't have nice things. It's on your lap. It's no, the lighter is not in my lap. All right, Watsy, are you ready to blow out your can candle? You know what? I'm going to leave it lit for a little bit. I hope you don't mind because it's just been going out on its own. Maybe I'm ruining it by like lighting it for like a minute. You're sitting on a butt fur. Hi, Oxy. But Scooby-Doo taught us that real monsters are just greedy capitalists. Okay, fair enough. It's lit in here. Cat sizzles. How are you? Welcome in. By the way, is this poison ivy? It is poison ivy. That man just blew for no reason shake my head hang on hang on watsy listen i have a theory that me lighting it and blowing it out instantly is murdering it so i'm gonna leave this one lit for a little bit okay let it burn a little i'm 106 after all cat sizzles thank you for that follow welcome to the g-spot you found it exclamation play okay now how about those stickers well that's something i'll have to figure out in a bit uh fourth oh my god i need my freaking nails done guys always do did you ever set up that twitch light you purchased at twitchcon it's right here it's not lit up yet but it's right there behind me and i freaking love it all right guys exclamation play You've got one minute You've got a minute on the track i'll light it well there is a plug right back there that I could just plug it into because I've got like a double USB thing on that plug. So I could plug it in technically in the back. Do it on the weekend. I plan on getting my nails done this weekend. I'm going to the city. What's your favorite Super Mario game? Ginger. Super Mario 64. I have to say it. That's the best one. Do you think they'll do a reunion show now that they have a remembrance? of? No, I don't think they'll do it. I don't think they'll do anything. Apex, that's for you. Ooh, I got a pillow, a pillow, and you can't have it because it's mine. 20 seconds, guys. I'm going to... Whoa, fourth wall is under maintenance right now, Logan. So, how did you get that? How did you get your prize if fourth wall is under maintenance? Sputnik. Red War Hawk 96 just redeemed. Drop. Okay, we'll drop in right after this. Right after this race. Remind me, different part of the website maybe? I guess. Everything is waiting for the basement to be done. Yes! And we haven't really even started. Not gonna lie, I wanted that pillow. You didn't want the one with my face on it? Super Mario World is the best game of all time. I will die on this hill. OG, did you check out that DM I sent you? I don't know if it's ongoing, but fourth while we're going into people's streams, I saw that. Hey, Fletch. What a wonderful hill to die on. Super Mario 64, like on the N64, is by far the best Super Mario game. My favorite is the original Super Mario, Super Smash Brothers. Yes, I love turning everyone to eggs on the edge of the platforms. I was always Pikachu. 
I redeemed something earlier. Oh, shit. Would you rather? Not so much would you rather, but a uh, hypothetical. You're in a court on a murder charge and you have to pick a Muppet as your defense lawyer. I've never watched the Muppets. Can I have a new question? Can I have a new set of things? I've never seen the Muppets. I've never seen the Muppets, Oxy. What does HBO Watsy mean? Is that a new HBO show? What? Super Mario Ooh. Galaxy is also goaded. I wanted the one with your face, but the one I won. The but I won the it's fine. Everything's fine. Well, the face pillow wasn't the one gifted. You could go buy the face pillow. What's up, people? Pal, how was your weekend? How was your this year's harvest, you demon? I had a busy weekend. We went to the city on Friday. We watched the Eras Tour movie, which was awesome, by the way. Cheers. I knew it was going to be awesome. I've seen it a thousand, thousand times. I haven't seen the movie a thousand times, but I've seen the live stream every time she had a concert. Just say the Swedish chef. Pika Pika. I tell people to ride the lightning, bitch. Miss Piggy, hands down. That's a Muppet? Miss Piggy and like Kermit is a Muppet? Elmo's a Muppet? Rob is a holiday special. <laughs> All right, Kevtech, congratulations. You're entered into the giveaway. What the hell did you do up there? Where? What? Okay, substitute Disney character. Okay. You have to pick him up as your defense lawyer. Darth Vader. Sesame Street are Muppets. I've never watched Sesame Street. You mean as in like, what did I watch? I watched cooking shows. And I don't cook. I don't know. I never liked cartoons. <laughs> if I was to pick a Muppet as my lawyer, it would have been Miss Piggy. Okay. Does not like cartoons. Did not watch a Muppet. I don't, like, I don't like it. I don't know. Not that Sesame Street was a cartoon, but I never watched it. I watched a little bit of Mr. Dress Up. That's a Canadian thing, guys. Wowzer won marbles. Wait, what? Oh. HBO Watsy. <laughs> Rass, did I miss the wink? Fletch, I'll do it again. <laughs> animal would win that trial. Thank you, Sappy. The Muppet I'd pick Animal. I'm buying in I'm buying my face pillow next month. My Christmas present to me. Aw. What's your favorite the boys character? I've never seen the boys. I'm the worst. Gee, are you serious? Let her cook. But Muppet, Muppets are Disney characters. They are actual Disney character, like or Disney owned. Can we get a replacement streamer, guys? <laughs> Explains if you. I guess it does. <laughs> yes, it does. What did you watch when you were a kid? Like. HGTV? I don't know. <laughs> like, I watched <laughs> Mari. I'm not sure. Oh, uh, gosh. Which human looks most like a Muppet? I pick Sarah Huckabee Sanders, Arkansas governor, former White House press secretary. Boy, one. Did you? I did watch television. The boys is incredible. Is that the vampire one? She likes the Backstreet one. Yes. The Backstreet Boys is my favorite. She watched the microwave when she was little. That explains a lot too, doesn't it? Oh yeah, we got to do a drop. Drop in, guys. Vampire, no superhero. What? What? I don't know anything. So the boys, or the Lost Boys is the Lost Boys is the vampire one, right? Okay, I'm learning. I'm learning. So which shows do you currently watch? I watch Grey's Anatomy, which I've already seen. But I watched, this is like my fourth time watching it through. To be fair, you did a lot of activities in your youth. You only want Darth Vader, so you'll threaten the judge or jury with a four. Exactly, Slipknot. Exactly. Um, I would be Peter Griffin because he's has been to court a lot and won his case almost every time. Nope, like Marvel, but adult rated. Oh, my goodness. He's a busy boy today. Hang on. Oop. 
it's a freaking snowstorm at his airport. He doesn't think he's flying. The TV was always unplugged. Go figure. I couldn't figure out how to work it. Let's be serious. Let's just say it how it is. I couldn't figure out how to work it. Ginger is momming out hard with the pop culture fails. Listen. Fuck Grays. It's like 40 seasons. It's 20. Hello? Hello, Apollo. Thank you. Get Apollo Boo. on the lurking, Bert. Bob, thank you for 100 bits. Appreciate you very, very much. Apollo, thank you for the, for the hype chat. Oh my God, I was in someone's stream the other day and someone had, hello, done a $200 hype chat. That motherfucker was up there forever. Kevin, thank you. Hi, Demon Seed. Hi, hello. Welcome in. Thank you so much for the raid. My name is Ginger Rebu. I stream Monday through Thursday, 12, 3 p.m. Eastern. I do a giveaway of my merch every Thursday. One way to be entered into the giveaway is to retweet the going live tweet. If you do retweet in the chat, you'll see it there. I'm going to pick 15 people who retweet to be entered into the giveaway. And also win a round of marbles. So we're also playing marbles in the background. Be a sub and win a round of marbles. That's an entry into the giveaway. Uh, Nikki B, that's for you. Old Man Kevin and Star Fox, thank you guys for the bits. Star Fox. I appreciate that so much, Star Fox. Uh, Demon Seed, what were you doing? What were you playing? Were you chatting? What was going on? Was it good? And Meredith is gone. I haven't seen past season like 14, so I'm still working on it, but I've watched seasons one through like 12, like five times. I like comfort shows. I don't pay a lot of attention, you know? You mean One Piece for white girls? I don't know what One Piece is. She's too... Whoa, hold on a minute. Hello? Tess, thank this you. This is Sparta! Tess, let's get you on the lightning bolt. Thank you so much. And Coiner, thank you so much for 300 bits. Let's get you on the board. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you guys. We're on a hype train. Hello? Choo, choo. Hello? Bob, thank you for 100 bits. What were you guys doing? Let me see, let me see. What were we doing? We were playing Call of Duty. How'd it go? Hello, hello. Oh, Android. Can anybody beat Fox? Exclamation drop. I watched two movies where Jenna Ortega was a complete badass. I love her. Plus, she's adorable. She's a cutie patootie. Um, scrolling, scrolling. Let's see. Grinding for souls in Warzone. How'd it go, Tess? Thank you so much for the threatening duck dollar. <laughs> she was too busy not being able to ride her bike, right? Uh, hey, Gingerbread, I love the cosplay. Could I ask you to pose for a pic with it, please? It looks really cool. Um, after this drop, I will stand up and show you the full fit. One Piece is about a group of weirdos wanting to be pirates while looking for treasure. I thought One Piece, wasn't that an anime? Isn't it an anime? Of course, anytime. Thank you. Fox, congrats. You're in the giveaway. Fox Mage. Yes, it is. She is, but you should watch Scream 5. Yes! And Scream 6, she goes all out against the killer. Okay, maybe, but I hated the Scream movies. I thought they were so stupid. Do you think I'd like them now? Tess, thank you for another hype chat. Choo -choo! Guys, we are 56% through level one hype. Can we make it to level two? Did you ever see Jenna Ortega's Hot Ones episode? She no sold every hot sauce. What does that not no sold mean? Like she was fine. People here are here for a free screenshot. Maybe they should check out the schmo. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I am going to be putting pictures of this on my schmally schmams. You should watch the scary movie comedy series. I think I saw that. Ah, fuck, Lisa. God damn it. Borrow, congrats, you're in the giveaway. <laughs> yeah, she acted like they weren't affecting her at all. Holy crap. Tangia Danilo, welcome in. It's not reboot, but it's continuing where the uh, uh continue of the other four movies. Yeah, she had minimal reaction to the sauces. She's a psychopath. No hose, Nikki B. I have. I have played a couple Resident Evil games. Okay, guys, we have one minute to save the train. Can we do it? I'm going to stand up. Don't do anything jump scare like because I can't hear anything. I'm going to show you guys the costume as much as I can. Like I said, 
will eventually be downstairs in the basement where I'll be using a stand-up desk um, and I'll be able to better show off my cosplays, guys. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to make sure I don't flash the camera real quick. So my skirt is very short. What's he purchased? Yep. Who? That's my face on a pillow. Who did that? Present I can't hear. The most cringe pillow on Twitch. Watsy. It's your birthday! Exclamation enter if you guys want to win. Yep, that's my face on a pillow. All right. Here's the costume, guys. It's got a little butt flap. I don't know. Anyway, without flashing, you guys got little booties. So do I. Love the leggings. Yeah, come on. Let me win this one too. Is it weird that I to enter? No, enter. Absolutely enter it. I would enter, but I really need two of these pillows. I mean, depends on the size of your bed. Maybe you need four of those pillows. You know what I mean? Are you a pixie? Mactory, you know it. No, I'm a uh, poison ivy. Oh my God, I need that. Exclamation enter. If you guys want to win that pillow, it's my face on a pillow. There's three different sizes, Ominous. So there's like a square one and two long ones. So it's up to you what size you pick. Thank you, Apollo. And guys, thank you for the hype train. Appreciate it. You will be able to step back and enter any world you choose with a full body green screen area. So I'm not going to be streaming with the green screen. Um, I make really good use of my background and I'm going to have, I have big, 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 big ideas for what the future of the background of my stream is going to look like. So I definitely won't be using a green screen to stream, but I'll be using a green screen to take full body photos to put in Polish man's. Uh, could you pose with, for a pic? With, I, did, I just said, maybe in a bit. She did the old school Batman poison ivy. Let's fucking go. Oh, you're going to be one of those standing desk people. Christ, are you going to be the office Karen too? Gosh, no. I'm going to get a desk that I can sit and stand with depending on my mood or how I feel. Is it poison ivy that you're supposed to pee on for relief? I'm pretty sure that's jellyfish, but you could try it. What do you get when Lincoln, Washington, Jefferson, and Roosevelt fall in poison ivy? Mount Rashmore. Uh, that would literally pay to win confirmed if Watsy wins. Oh my gosh. She's Tinkerbell's half sister, Tinker Ginge. Uh, when will you be streaming from the basement? Years. Like, this is like a, a, a couple years project. Like, it's definitely not going to be a thing probably for 2024. I feel like we're going to get most of the work done on it in 2024. Lushy! Uh, Well, it's not been started yet. Yeah. Grind? We had a pact. What? We'll be Van Halen. Scream 5, while still part of the franchise, does go back to set up new protagonists with dark secret and possible journey to become the killer. Sometimes your butt gets numb when you're sitting for still. I sit a lot. Like, okay, get your balls in, guys. You've got one minute. To like, I sit here and track. I sit here after stream working on my montage, which should premiere the end of this week sometime, guys. By the time I'm done working on it, uh, it might be it might be Wednesday. It might be Thursday. I'm not sure. It depends on how much work I get done on it. Um, but yeah, I sit a lot. So I thought a stand-up desk would be nice. Plus then when I'm doing cosplays like this and stuff, I could stand a little further back from the camera and you guys could see the full outfit. It's just going to be so much better, I think. How does peeing on a jellyfish help? Oh my gosh. <laughs> what is this? What happened? I accidentally mixed up some poison ivy with four-leafed clover ever since I've had a rash of good luck. Who won? Oxy! Oxy, you now have my face on a pillow. Are you scared? Are you scared? Well, let's put a date on it so we can set a countdown. Oh my gosh. Uh, I had no, I, the thing is about a date is this whole project is going to be costing probably around $7,000. So I can't put a date on it because I don't exactly have the funds to do it. So we're going to do it little by little as I have the funds to do it. You know what I mean? I had no idea Uma Thurman played Poison Ivy. That's the only one I know about. Bob, did you want grind pen? Lisa, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, I'll be back. Thank you. Uh, we want a full runway in that basement. Could you match just lights and a runway? I have, I have plans. I have big plans and they're exciting. And I'm going to be so happy with how it turns out, I think. Anyway. 
Pee doesn't work. Apparently, just hot water works well on a jellyfish sting. I'm pretty sure the pee thing was just a joke that got out of control. Well, it could be the fact that pee is generally pretty warm, so it feels soothing. So maybe someone, like, got in so much pain. Like, oh, I got stung by a jellyfish. So much pain that they, like, peed themselves. And then when the urine hit the jellyfish sting, it kind of soothed it. So they probably thought, oh, huh, that neutralized it. I took a video of my shoe yesterday. It was some pretty good footage. <laughs> It'll be better than this broom cupboard she's currently in. Facts. There's no space in here, guys. Star Fox GG's. However, this, if you believe it or not, is an upgrade from my old room, which was my bedroom. And I had like this. How can I explain it? I'll just draw it on the back of this. So I had this. I don't want to use that pen because it'll show through. Do I have a pencil? I have another piece of paper. I'll just use this other piece of paper. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You'll be in the basement within within six months. I'm sorry. Do you have $7,000 I don't know about? Slary. So this was the shape of my old bedroom. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, come on. Um, this was the shape of my old bedroom. The closet was over here and this was the door to walk in. And there was this little tiny spot here. This is where my desk was. When I tell you my, my door would hit my fucking chair. And now it's my desk, but this is where I stream from. This is where I got partnered on Twitch from. This tiny little spot right there in the corner of my room. So my bed was my bed was here. Hang on a minute. And there was a window here and like a walk-in closet on this side. My bed was here. My whole stream room was that corner of my room. So guys, this room, believe it or not, is like a thousand times a thousand times bigger than Turn that light back on than i'm than i was used to back then <laughs> so <laughs> wild star congratulations i think with poison ivy you gotta suck it out no i don't think you should put that in your mouth hey zelix please you're in the giveaway as well hot cross funds slurry wants his gaming room you being positive since you got to do the work. A second 10. Is that a ginger slayer commitment? How do you make a gingerbread man's bed with a cookie sheet? Do you listen to 21 pilots? I only know like the radio songs. Golden showers. Thank you. Oh, Jesus Lord. Hey, Ginger, you haven't gotten a close up of your makeup today. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Do you like it? Do you like it? Well, fun! She had a wall and a corner. I literally had a wall behind me. Like, I'm not even kidding. I couldn't back up further than like this. There was a wall behind me and there was a wall to my right hand side and then the door on my left hand side. I was in the tiniest little corner. There's a pickup somewhere. <laughs> there is. I'll cash out my schmolnishmans. <laughs> Slurry said, he, Slurry never said he's going to have it finished. He just, he's just locking you down there. <laughs> Uh, I was looking for desserts for Christmas that wasn't Christmas pudding and cake across a snowball cheesecake came across a snowball cheesecake have the ingredients coming tomorrow so hopefully weekend I'll make it I require photos all right guys exclamation play get your balls and don't forget we're still playing stream raiders and we're probably gonna lose again I'm gonna move over go slayer could you imagine um, is that a pic of a polar bear in a snowstorm? If she wanted the seven grand, she could sell those T-Swift tickets and still have some left over. Is that not the biggest fact that ever facted? I could. I could probably get at least $7,000 for the tickets that I have. We've got, we've got VIP tickets. Show socks. All right. My socks aren't really socks, but they're, you know... Bop, bop. Weird, right? Beautiful floor pant plans. I could have done. I feel like you could have done it better. <laughs> I feel like you could have, but anyway. Oh my god! 
it's like we were coming in the door to see you it was it was something that's about two square feet slary if you could guess how many square feet that little corner was when i was streaming from the corner of the bedroom how many feet would you guess like four it was maybe four feet wide four feet deep square the back of my desk was up against my dresser it was a whole situation guys show some skin on your naughty site and you'll come up with that type of money before dinner time this is true shut up dave but i'm not gonna do that <laughs> The new marbles, uh, UI is weird. Wait, what? How? In the USA, the code for that minimum room size is 7 by 10, so 70 square feet. This room is, I believe, like an 8 by 10 room, maybe? This room is a thousand times bigger, so the basement will be a million times bigger, facts. What do you get when you pour hot, boiling hot water down a rabbit hole? Hot cross bunnies? <laughs> Great shadow work. Thank you. Thank you very much. Didn't even realize. Did I win? Great question. When did you move? Three years ago this December. DMG the pick of how it should look. Okay. Damn, girl. Amazing. Amazing. You're the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Get your balls in, guys. You've got one minute. To got get one minute on left. Hello, Ski Dieter. Welcome in. VIP in a movie theater. No, 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 no. For the actual concert. The actual concert we got vip floor seats when you move downstairs will you be taking the spider behind you shut up watsy the ghost yeah the ghost yeah but not the spider fuck the spider they can live outside they got all of the outside they want to live in here my girlfriend likes my socks my girlfriend is like my socks my mother helped me find her oh you didn't hear she canceled the rest of her tour to become a football groupie since she hit billionaire that one guy in your dms would fund them fund it themselves oh my god wait what funny how she hasn't wasn't at the last game and they lost she's a little good luck charm half year anniversary high five what's your favorite horror movie so i don't much care for horror movies but i like psychological thrillers i liked um all the paranormal activities i liked insidious is that the one i liked cloverfield was a good one eight and a half by ten so that's the room i'm in eight and a half by ten absolutely no storage no closet it is not a very big room philip congrats yeah it's not a very big room whoa we need to fix that bob don't fuck the spider ginger um he must have hurt bad for him it's cold out there spiders need heat too no they don't the chiefs lost yesterday to a terrible team team they had beaten f like 14 years straight see they needed taylor have you seen premonition oh that was a good one i liked that one you should watch the movie called archive archive i'm i feel like i've seen that hold on a minute believe it or not Oh, maybe not. I've, I've seen the one that's... I was thinking unfriended. This looks good, but I was thinking unfriended. Insidious was fun. Same with The Conjuring. The Conjuring was good. Not where I thought that was joke was going. I thought you were going to make a full of jizz joke. Boom. Second 10. I like movies that compel me. I love the movie The Game with Michael Douglas. The new streaming dungeon will be modeled after 10 Cloverfield Lane. Oh my gosh. I've seen that too. Cloverfield was decent, but hell to watch in theaters. I, th I think what I love the most about movies like, like the Blair Witch Project and Cloverfield was like, because of how it's filmed, it does have that little essence of believable, even though it's Cloverfield is obviously not true, but it had that like, oh my God, this is really happening type vibe to it. Like a POV, I guess. Really, you thought those were scary? Cloverfield? I don't think Cloverfield was scary. Insidious was a bit scary, but I don't care for scary movies. Spiders need heat too. I have a flamethrower. Um, if I sold an e-cig to a miner, they would arrest me for statutory vape. Oh my gosh. Lisa, congratulations. You're entered into spelling. The giveaway. Lisa, I also need your address. So send it or don't. First, the boys. Ugh. 
You should check out Aftermath. I'm back. Welcome back. Unfriended was a good movie. Lol. But Nick. <laughs> Archive's plot has now been used to make a TV series under a different name. I saw a robot. You can now start the battle. All right, off we go. Good luck, guys. We're probably going to lose this one again, but we haven't been paying much attention. The basement scene at the end of Blair Witch with the person just staring at the wall still freaks me out. Honestly, yes. The found footage, 81. Like archive 81. Today I learned that there's a cocktail called tequila ranch water. It's tequila sparkling water and lime. It is not, as I thought, watered down tequila and ranch dressing. I'm glad that it's not. Logan Schlee 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 Logan Schlee Found footage. Logan Bless you. Uh, I found Insidious scares a bit predictable. Yeah, they, they were a bit predictable. I don't think Cloverfield should be classed as a horror. No, it's definitely not a horror movie. I'll send you a text. Thank you. Does Twitch still allow for parties with stuff? Watch parties for stuff. On par I have not seen. Does Twitch still allow for watch parties with stuff on Prime? I don't know. I have no idea. I have not seen people do any, so I don't know. People in Iran are scared of spiders, but in Iraq, no phobia. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Archive 81 was good. Where's that star? I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Who was that? Who's knocking? Who's doing it? Dave? Is that you? Who did that? Rafiki? Who's doing that? Why is it spicy? Oregon Convention Center and PDX is an anime con. Ginger, did you ever watch pa Peacemaker? I don't think so. I would doubt it. Yeah, I don't do anime. Me either. Moon you. All right. Well, on the moon today, we have... Well, the moon looks like it's on fire right now. We have Blackheart with 10 gifted and Boro, who did 9, but made it to his 600 gifted son... Son? Sub? in the channel which is an amazing accomplishment so so Boro gets to stay on the moon and Blackheart with 10 gifted thank you so much by the way hey we did it I'm having a bagel that was me Dave giving me the spoops okay I get you on the board thank you did you see the big moon structure in Las Vegas I saw the sphere, if that's what you're talking about. Yes, and it turned into a moon while I was there. Uh, never gift someone a sun. <laughs> Surprised no one has Boo! done a Tangia. That was 200 bits. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we managed to beat that. Um, I don't know where to go from here. I think we'll just go to this one. Oh, it's an insane battle. Good luck, guys. Me is heck for Ginge. This is so funny, and it's so true. Like, Rob would rather die than drink sparkling water. I fucking love sparkling water. I love it. I love I love it. I love sparkling water. I found it walking around at night, turned the corner, and was floored. That thing is like 500 feet tall. Is it like 500 feet tall? I feel like it's 500 feet tall. Exclamation SR, you guys. If you want to play Stream Raiders, I'd love to be your captain. I'm going to do some battle plans here. I'm not a fan of sparkling water either. Oh, I love it. If there's a choice, I'm always going to choose sparkling. We'll battle down here. These two, these two right here, okay? Stick together. There's not a lot of us playing, so we need to be careful. A bophobia is the fear of palindromes. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, Derek. If your sparkling water loses its bubbles, that's okay. It's still water. It's still water. I get it. I get jokes. <laughs> uh, Waterloo is some of the best sparkling water. Peacemaker with John Cena was great. I can't wait until they release a new season. It's been nearly two Boo! years. I've never even heard of it. See, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Yes, yes, yes. All right, exclamation SR. Guys, we also have six minutes left till I do the retweet. So please retweet the going live tweet. Is That's not going to work. Sparkling water all the way. I have a soda stream and I haven't just clued in literally the day before yesterday that I could be using my soda stream to make sparkling water. Just clued in. I've had it for almost a year. 
Not to be confused with Lou water. This is most used in my kitchen. Ugh. I have a soda stream and I have not made sparkling water yet. What the hell? Bullshit. There's no way F1 is fucking up the Venetian too. I was just here. Then it has to come down. It has to come down every every season. There's no way they're going to fuck up all the hotels for like 10 years straight. The tap makes great sparkling water. Hey, honestly, the tap water where I live is so good. It's very, very nice. Clean and fresh. I'm just sitting here all sad. Crushing soda cans by myself is so depressing. Oh, I broke down and bought Britney's. I wanted to. Lisa, maybe you're done. I'll buy it off you. We got photos just in time. Ginger, really, that was literally the first thing people learn with soda stream. I, I don't know why I didn't clue in. That girl's got some issues. It's supposed to be gone by the end of December. Okay, and then put back up, what, next October again? I have never been to a fancy restaurant where they offer sparkling water. Is it flavored? It just tastes like TV static, yeah. Yeah, end of December, F1 that. Your water comes straight from melting glaciers. True, which is probably why it's so damn good. All right, guys, get your balls in. You've got one minute to get your balls Nine in. Nine out of ten track. doctors recommended for children to drink water instead of soda. That one doctor lives in Flint, Michigan. Fuck, that's so bad, right? So bad. Exclamation play. Hey, Philip, nicely done. Is it too? No, no, it's facts though. Like, it's, it's actual factual, you know? Hang on a second, I gotta answer this text. I need an attitude adjustment. <laughs> Okie dokie. All right, and we're off. Happy birthday. Are you talking to me? Or Watsy? Swear to God, Bob. So the candle's staying lit. That's good. Because it didn't stay lit the last time we lit it. I think I was slowly murdering it with like lighting it and blowing it out instantly. Me! But it's still not my birthday. Bob. Troll. That's not so lit. It's, what do you mean? It's fucking lit. Did you say there was a montage this week? Where could we see that? Well, if you wanted to see the new montage or get ready for it and see other montages so you have an idea of what we're looking at, you could go to my YouTube, exclamation YT. <laughs> also follow me on twitter <laughs> did the twitch police come by the um, the weekend for the beanie no and i wore it all weekend long i love the damn thing did you check stream raiders for there's a patch happening shit all right i got you thank you for telling me so the giveaway is going to be thursday if you retweet the going live tweet which is hold up wait a minute right here and right after this race, I'm going to be picking 15 people who do retweet that to be entered into the giveaway. Okay. Um, and the giveaway is Thursday and it's a piece of my merch. No. I think. Hello. No. Yes. No. I said yes. Um, it's going to be my Christmas merch. I think we're going to start getting that out there. Oh, wow. You have a YouTube. How much is this? Free. <laughs> you can subscribe to my YouTube for free. And it would help immensely. I've also, I'm in the middle of uploading some of October's VODs, guys. So once they pass the whole, hey, they're not copywritten, I'm going to be able to put those public. So you guys will have extra content to watch. Apollo! Congratulations. Hey, Ginger, I just came on, I mean, in the chat. What I miss. Hi, Howie. Everything's better with a montage. I wore my new monster slippers all weekend. I, those are cute. I saw them. Cheers, Nikki B. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. 
Coke Zero is busting. Damn, peace officer just pulled someone over and did the chirpy siren and scared the shit out of, shit, shit out of me. Thank you, Watsy. Woo! YouTube content! You got it. Sir, I'm going to need you to calm down. <laughs> All right, exclamation play. Get your balls on the track. Yeah, the October VODs have been lacking. I know, right? It's like I've been away for most of my time. I love the monthly montages. Thank you. I love making them and I do laugh at them. So guys, one thing I want to say about my stream is if you see something funny or interesting or cool or whatever in my stream, clip it. Always be clipping. The ABCs always be clipping because every day after my stream, I go to the clip section and I download all the clips and I put them in a montage. And at the end of every single month, I put out a montage from all the clips from the month. Not all of them, but, you know, a lot of them. Pick up B. Pick up two. Our mantra card, mantra card today said, Hearing inner guidance. My intuition flows whenever I am still. So calm the fuck down and relax. Think about your shit, you know? Sorry, dude. I lose control whenever I'm in the G spot. The cop pulled me over last night and he saw my vape in the cup holder and said, you know what they say about those things kill people. I responded that I heard the same thing about cops. He didn't laugh. Oop. You were great IRL streaming. Gosh, thank you for saying that. I, I know it was, it was, let's be serious. It was basically like my first time IRL streaming and I enjoyed it. It felt like, I don't know. It felt really good to be live. Uh, you know how I get anxiety when, when I leave stream for too long. You guys know that. You know, I'm like, I hate taking days off and it freaks me the fuck out. But this allowed me to be more at ease with it because I was involving you guys in, in it. You have the option to think, you have the option, I think, to stream on the YouTube as well. They have tiered memberships in case you choose to delete kick. I heard, I heard that while I was at con that you can now multi-stream. Okay, okay, makes sense. GP sandwich. No, that's good. We're usually at race eight by two. That's not good. <laughs> You've got one minute. Now nah, you did track. great. Thank you. So you aren't. I am live right now, but I mean, IRL streaming. Uh, I use my phone and a gimbal to like walk around TwitchCon and stuff. You look like a supermodel in person and on stream. Well, thank you, Pops. It was so nice to meet you. I just hope you got enough time for you too. I did. And that's why I did what I did. I planned extra days. So I, I, I did throw out some streams when I could throughout the weekend, which were like considered like extra, I guess. But I didn't stream Wednesday, did I? No, I didn't stream Wednesday. So I didn't, did me things Wednesday. I streamed Thursday because we went to the gun range because of course. Uh, I streamed Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And I did not stream Tuesday chat more IRL streams more IRL streams I gotta go places to do IRL streams multipass why, why sir would you troll the cops twitch viewer lives matter simulcast gimbal bread beauty pro streamer once I figured that out I feel like it was good but what was happening is I like putting my phone in the gimbal and I put it a little bit to the left so that I wouldn't hit the volume buttons but what I didn't realize was the gimbal accounted for the volume buttons so it was just me it was my fault that it kept like murk, murk. some people see it as humor which is the way it was intended you're fine you can grind like you usually do <laughs> that's a good one ginger with your th 30 weeks a year on holiday i swear to god do you read everything i try to i do my best i miss some stuff here and there and if i if i didn't read your message it means i probably didn't see it so if i miss messages guys feel free to repeat yourself ain't no extra you are 24 days behind in your streams but who's counting so i could pull an anchor man on you fuck you san diego and my tiny little nipples went to france you 100 percent could such a good re read reader -er -er -er. damn it people you know ron reads everything on the prompter um yeah i definitely no yes no yes no yes ginger gets an electric shock when she misses a message <laughs> uh bob is counting apparently sometimes all the time she reads them wrong but she still reads them i'm ron burgundy 
horny dean like one of those dog collar shocks that elgato teleprompter looks really cool i got to see it while i was at twitchcon actually um and it is really cool but the thing is i'm trying to like how do i explain this so the teleprompter would put chat right in front of the camera so i'd be reading chat and staring at the camera the whole time which is fine and that looks good right like i like to sit to the side a little bit and look over there <laughs> i'm sure i could put my camera over there which would be fine good bruce almighty re reference who put a question mark on the teleprompter <laughs> ginger's going on vacation again after tomorrow no i'm not i'm actually probably not going anywhere for the rest of the year like i'm pretty sure i don't have anything planned or any days off until next year so you guys are stuck with me four days a week through december i mean depending on when christmas is yeah so i'll probably take christmas day off since it falls on a monday but that's pretty much it you guys are stuck with me ronin congratulations Ginger's going Boo! on. Oh, hope you had a good birthday. I swear to God. But it's still not Rex my birthday. Is, I swear to God. She even corrects my mistakes, not even on purpose. It's go fuck yourself, San Diego's, you uncultured swines. Not, bla not bad. Second place. It's more for presenters. Yeah, I would say definitely probably for like... I mean, it makes sense. And it's cool to be looking into the camera when I'm talking. I don't generally do that. <laughs> Sent a suggested gift. Maybe yes, maybe no. All right. Get your balls in, guys. I'm going to go grab the retweet because it's time. We've got 41. Last flipping chance. Last chance to retweet the going live tweet, guys. Get her done. Get her done. Oh, God, that's so bright. Hello? There we go. My message was about your overpriced YouTube. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it depends on the setup. Is this Ginger's good side? Spring! Hi! Spring shield, spring. Honestly, gold, there's that too. Uh, it's like... Knee snicky just redeemed. Drop. Okay. We'll do drop while I configure this. Boo. I have a lot of focus on, like, this stuff, right? So my camera's always pointed a little bit to the wall so that you guys can see the, the bitty board and stuff like that, right? So if it was dead on, shits, get off my I'd almost have to have to it like here. over there so that it's this way and you could still see the board. Okay, don't look at my bra strap. It's not supposed to show. My hair is supposed to cover it. Perverts. Anyway, we want five days a week. Holy. No. No. The rest of the year, no. that's like two months. Nicholas B, shut up. Drop in, guys. And don't forget to retweet the going live tweet. Okay, I hate to joke and run, but my boss is an asshole and he wants me to get back to work. P.S. I'm self-employed. <laughs> All right, Mac. Thanks for the jokes. Ooh, that means it's a four-day weekend. Yes. You going to the Bahamas January 1st? Yes. I'm not. I'm definitely not. I'm going to pin this for a couple minutes. I'm going to pin it for like four minutes. I don't know. Retweet the going live tweet, guys. I like the angle. It makes you look like you're looking at chat when reading chat, which I which I absolutely am. Um, I swear to God, the next person to wish me a premature happy birthday, I'm going to speak to their manager. I'll just tell your boss to go fuck off and that you quit. Show me your bitties. Retweet it. Thank you. To the window. To the wall. To the wall. Bitty board always sounds so dirty to me. It's so dirty. Oh no, bra strap is banned. Just don't wear a bra. That would solve the hair thing. It would solve a lot of things. I think we should get a full week of cosplays this week. I'll tell you what, Logan. I'll tell you what. I have a cosplay planned for tomorrow. And I didn't do one of the co two of the cosplays that I wanted to do. We hit our sub goal today. I will add a cosplay on Wednesday. Okay, if we hit this sub goal today, we're 34 to 64. We got 30 subs to go and we've got 30 minutes, not even. If we hit it, Kevin, that scared me. I will do a cosplay on Wednesday as well. What about Aruba, Jamaica? Come on, pretty mo Bob! But it's still not my birthday. It's pretty bad when you got Bob trolling. 
Happy really early birthday, Ginger. Hey, Ginger, you lost the fuck's sake. He swings and he misses. I'm going to miss the cosplay for every stream since October is over. And we'll have to earn them. Happy not your birthday. Thank you, Ronan. Solve this, but create to lose others. It's me. Something about you looks different today. Hmm. Cad, thank you for the bits. Is it my eye color, my hair color, my makeup, the costume? Cat, thank you so much. Wow, Landroid! Hello? Yeah, gingerbread beauty. Definitely not gingerbread booty. I said sub goal. Or bit goal. We could do one or the other, you know? Hello? Pops and bikes? Hi, yeah, it was so nice to meet you at TwitchCon. I know you enjoyed taking the private helicopter that I definitely own that landed on top of the, the TwitchCon convention. Yeah, I know. I know. Purple glitter helicopters are the best. Yeah, thanks for coming uh, on, on the special super secret helicopter ride. That was really nice having you. All right. I'll see you in the chat. Scotto! 13 months. Uh, do you have a favorite candy you like for Halloween? <sighs> At Daddy Quiznos really. 13 Hardo 29. Thank you for my Ag 29 gift. Prosper Subhe P E G B B Cat Dance sizzles. G B B Spooky G B B Spooder Web. Spooder Web. That's mine. That's my own emote. Lendroid, holy balls. Thank you so much for the bits. And you get a gold star. Looks like it's going to Nikki B, you guys. Nikki B. Ooh. Nikki B. There we go. Gold star for Lendroid. Thank you for a thousand bits, my friend. Mwah. Where did I put the tape? Oh my god, it's literally in front of me. Uh, I like Reese's peanut butter cups, but I can't have sugar, so no. I'm gonna light myself on fire yet, I swear. Balls in, guys. Balls in. You've got one minute. To oh, shit. I got to do the, the retweet still. Hit that. You need a peg, Peggy Bundy cosplay. Just sit there and eat bonbons. My birthday is the 13th. If we hit Kevin, that's rude. For fuck's sakes, I've been to been a two all stream. It's the eyebrows. They on fleek. Oh, yeah. We did, uh, we did red eyebrows to match the hair today. Did I tell you I'm going on this post-wedding cruise? Yeah. I think I've done well today finding Christmas gifts. Only have three left to decide on, then three more Christmas and four birthday gifts. That's a lot. No way in hell I will you will ever see me in a helicopter. Me either. I really like them. Twisted, welcome in first time chatter. How are you? How'd you find us? The one time I tried trolling Ginger and she read them both different, I was so mad. <laughs> Nikki B, our birthday is on the 13th. Mine's on the 18th. I won't be streaming. Okay. Boo! Shh. I'm going to go do the Twitter picker, guys. Connect to Twitter. Hold on, hold on. Why did it go bright again? I put it in dark mode. Friggin' frig. Good afternoon, BBT. Did you go to con? Oh, you just... Sorry, I missed you. I finished reading the sentence. Ding dong. Uh, I missed you, too. You were on the list of people to meet. I also didn't get to meet Evan. My birthday is the 17th. Nice. I was. I finally got my work caught up. My catch my work catch up done. Now to go home. So I'm oh, silver. Look what I got in the mail, by the way. Cute, right? Do you like it? I was like, do you say tomato or tomato? And you said them differently. <laughs> but I thought today was your birthday. What? This is Silver G's, by the way, guys. I won it. Well, I didn't technically win it. Someone else won it and gifted it to me, which is awesome. Only have birthdays, mom, brother, ginger, and mullet. Christmas, Louise, Helen, ginger, and mullets. Did we have something for Beeline's Christmas? Yeah, I saved some of the stuff. The big thing of clay and then the the clay like pasta maker thing. I saved those. So And some of the paints. So she's good. Mullet put the hair stuff on the wish list. That's actually something that she wanted. It is called Coco and Eve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. 
entries. I'm gonna do 15. Guys, thank you so much for the retweet. Let me scuttle! Congrats, you're in Thursday's giveaway. Get your balls in and we're gonna do the retweet right now. Okay, so I have my list. So, so happy you got it. Me too. And you did it again, flips table. You said it was the 18th. My birthday. It's the 18th, yes? Is it? You're making me second guess myself. I'm not keeping up. Is anybody surprised? All right, here it is, guys. 15 people for the giveaway. Logan. We got, we got Ronan. We got Howie. We got Campy Dave. We have Kesh. We have, we have Rob. Wildstar. We have Sappy. Lisa, Dave Tuggy. Come on, fingers. Dave, Tuggy. Chubby Potato, I've got no nose. I've got no nose. Lendroid, Simper, Jimmy. Lendroid, Simper, Jimmy, the, oops, Guz, and Keptek. Congrats, guys, and thank you so much for doing the retweets. I appreciate it. Dave's not here. Ooh, thank you, Rob. Can you give mine to the birthday boy? It is Watsy. Ignore her rubbish. Okay. Rob, I gave him one and he fucking opted out. Honk! Hi, Chops! Alright, balls in, guys. Don't forget, also, units. Get your units in. Oh. Get your units in. Do you guys need more space? What's going on over here? Yeah, is that better? I'm being nice over here. <laughs> so was I! Balls and units, units and balls. What else is new? All right, guys, get them in. Get them in, get them in, get them in. Um, I still have my to- My brain. Oh my God, this wig is like shedding on me. Get off. Okay. Oh. A year ago, this is Beeline's pumpkin. Isn't it cute? <laughs> it's like a cat. I don't know. <laughs> uh, what did Dave say? Rob, she doesn't want nice mods. Didn't you know that? Oh my gosh. If they were nice, I would have to feel bad about keeping them in the dungeon. We're on a speck of dust in infinite space. How much more space do you need? I know. I love that. I love that, right? Like, <gasps> I want to go to sp Fight Club. Hello. I want to go to space. Aren't we in fucking space? Anyway, fight. There you go. Happy three years, my friend. I'm sorry I didn't put that in on Thursday. I had your name in there, but not Ooh. on a heart. How's it going, fight? Welcome in. How you doing today, my friend? Space and time are relative. I didn't know they were related. Look how cute this little guy is. Adorable, right? Moo! Nitro? Right, Nitroner? Welcome in first time chatter. How are you? How did you find us? Yeah, a couple of my uncles. All right, let me scroll through here and see what I can show you guys. Oh, here's some cute ones. That my kids did. They're little mini pumpkins. I'm okay, Ginger. Good to hear. Um, these are just pictures of my kids at Halloween, so I can't show you any of this. Aw, a t-shirt I got six years ago at the, the Los Angeles, California, One More Light, Lincoln Park, Chester Bennington and Friends, or sorry, Lincoln Park and Friends, Chester Bennington Memorial. Ugh, that was heart-wrenching. Your kids are the best, honestly. Aren't they the kiddos? Time is one measurement of objects moving through space. Definitely relative. Mike Wazowski. 
I'm watching you. I'm sure it still fits. It's in a box. I never wore it. I just wanted to keep it forever. It's been that long for chess really, right? Crazy. Here's me at Comic Con. Um, and this is um, Mr. Stan Lee, guys. I'm so happy that I got to see him before he passed. Amazing experience. Chester even. Gotta go, sorry, such short visit. It's okay, Spunnik. Fight Club? Who's Fight Club? Stan! Yeah, it was so cool to see him and Dwayne. My ball is ready, guys. All right, off we go. You've got one minute to get your balls on the track. You sitting there with freaking black eyed peas, just chatting. Stand the man. It was very cool. Um, let me see. What else can I show you guys? Not much. All it is is like my kids in their Halloween costumes, so it's difficult. I felt the same way when I went to Stephen Hawking lecture and saw him. That is so cool. Stan seemed like such a nice, cool guy. The crazy thing is he was he was pretty old, right? And he still had his wits about him. He was still funny, cracking jokes. Amazing. Mary Jane Watson cosplay? Question mark? Me right now? Uh, what else do I have? <laughs> 11 years ago today. iPad mini? Do want. Excelsior. Huh. I do have an iPad mini now. It's called manifesting. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. Um, nothing else I can show you guys, unfortunately. I don't think... Had a fun night with a fam. Pop, chips, and guitar hero. Do I? Like, what? <laughs> do want, not do what. Do want. Ginger talking about Apple? Shocker. Me talking about Taylor Swift? Shocker. What the hell? Later, Ginger. Glad you are back. Fletch, see you soon. That's it. That was the time off. That was pretty boring. That was pretty boring. Nothing terribly cringe either. Watsy. Nothing's changed. <laughs> I went skydiving, I went Rocky Mountain climbing, I went 2.7 seconds on a bowling through Manchu, and I loved deeper, and I spoke sweeter, and Shut I... Shut the fuck up, Ginger. <laughs> I need an attitude adjustment. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That was amazing. When can we expect more IRL streams? Oh gosh. Next year. <laughs> uh, she's showing her age. Love you, right? Oh my god. Alkyrian. <laughs> You're entered into the giveaway. <laughs> that was amazing. Poison Ivy's back! Excuse you. It's the legend, Watsy, now. What's up, Nick Gundy? I crapped out a giant movement. <laughs> what? Battle time, is it? Got you, I got you. Fuck, that's funny. Oh my god. Who, who who's that? It was Dave. <laughs> Lender, you should see a doctor about that. Been chilling. Good, good, good. All right, next race, guys. We are 12 out of 16. Ooh. It's normal. Oh, God, that was great. My time up today is so many travel. Were we traveling? Were you traveling? HSV. All right. Get your balls in, guys. Get them in, get them in, get them in. We're going to have to crank the next one, I think, maybe. What did I say I have to do after stream? Oh, I've got to get my honk and skin packs in so that they can actually use them. What am I going to put? What am I going to put on them? Like, what are my honks going to be? 
Yeah, it looks like it. Like, what can I put as like... <gasps> I could do like a Wednesday Adams car. People might like that. That's not like you, Ginger. I usually travel for my birthday. I'll put some in Discord after stream. Gets your ball on the table. We also need to give Logan a sticker pack. Ever done a Dungeons? I have not. I have not. Get your balls in, guys. You've got one minute. To the sticker pack thing. I'm being cock blocked by a malfunction in the website. Oh, okay. I can log in now. Hey, Logan. Do you want like the Christmas sticker pack? What do you want? Jamie, hi. Is this considered a flower? Like I'm a, I'm more, no, I'm more of like a fucking itchy weed. Never mind. Go to the website. I do. No, I'm, I'm able to log in now. That was weird. Logan, 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 Christmas. Okay. All right, I will do that. I will get you a Christmas sticker page. Select winter, winter. Sorry, I put winter because I wanted to be politically correct. You know how it is. You know how it is. Logan, I will send it to your Discord DMs right now. And what I want you to do is pick it up. And it'll show up on stream when you do it. All right. Add quote. I'm more like an itchy weed. <laughs> I found a little house on top of a mountain. Lindroid, I got a new photo on the weekend. A little... You do so much photography stuff. It's amazing. Have you ever been to Montreal Airport? Opens Discord. Yeah, go grab it. So it pops up on the screen when you when you uh, go through with buying it. Did you get to go or see the plane mates? Plane mates. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Qu'est-ce que c'est? No, I didn't. I left the airport as soon as I landed. Did you guys see that I took pictures of all the balls I saw and <laughs> that sounds terrible. Vegas. And I put them in Vegas channel. It only makes sense if you've been to the airport. What? I need to know the story. I only had one task and that was to <laughs> find the bus pass vending machine. Excuse me. Could you speak English, please? Uh, pardonnez-moi, monsieur. What are the plane maids? Hot girls for frightened passengers? There's a moneymaker right there. Flarry. I wonder if he's left yet. No, I think his plane leaves at four. I'm going to give him a quick text. There it is. There Someone you go. Someone purchased winter sticker page. How's the weather? Think you'll fly? Question mark. Let's learn how to spell. Ding dong. Thank you, Miss Ginger. You're welcome. You won fair and square. Bora! Bora! You're entered into the giveaway. GG's. We're going to crank out this next one, guys. So get your balls in as soon as you can. Damn, you are nosy. <laughs> I know he's afraid. He hasn't flown since he was a kid. All right. Psycho killer. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Fa 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 fa. That was my favorite 24 no hotel trip. 24 hour no hotel trip I've ever done. Those stickers are super cute, aren't they? Oh, I had nothing of that sort, Rob. You'll have to get it before you leave. Basically, the Montreal airport have this thing. It's a moving airport lounge that attaches to the terminal, takes all the passengers, then drives them to the plane and docks the plane to it. Whoa! So the whole lounge goes. That's weird. All right. You've got one, one minute, minute guys. On Psycho track. McNasty. One minute. Get your balls on the track. I'm guessing Slary has a passport now. No, he's just flying domestic, though. He's flying domestic, so he doesn't need one. Check the battle. Oops. Good call, Aminatus. Thank you. Um, we're not going to be doing another one, though, because we don't have the time. So I'll close that for now. Is Al here? I don't think so. What? The Trudeau Airport? Trudeau Airport? Why not just take them all the way? <laughs> just the whole lounge just drives them to their next destination. <laughs> Bungie just announced a ma massive job cuts today. Whoa. 
cheer short video of what the heck I'm talking about that's not short oh hey <laughs> that's freaking awesome that's freaking awesome I like that it's pretty cool if you ask me this is pretty cool it does thank you ginger i need to take my mom to her doctor's appointment all right fox we'll see you soon well not to their next destination yeah bungie has hit has hit hard times i love the moving sidewalks in the trudeau airport i know all alex destiny what about tubes like futurama is it really an airport lounge i mean i guess the entire lounge is on wheels do you have the time do you have the time to listen to me whine? Alan! Alan! Al! Alan! Alan! Al Alan. is here. Al is here. You are muted while at work, but I've been lurking. Sent a pic of you with me at work? Well, we gotta see that. Oh my god, Ginger, really? Dare I say you look cute in that picture? Tinker, congratulations. I like that song. You just say 90s vibes. Disney thought they were solved. People were moving technology, but it turned out to be just another ride. Tell him they're very good planes. We talked about which planes he's going on. He's going on a... A219 and also a Q400. Yeah, Dash 8. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tinker GG's. The Disney People Mover is dumb. I didn't mind it. I mean, I love like crazy flipping around roller coaster rides. So the People Mover was like a little bit. Meh. Hey, Ginch. What's up, Watsy? Hey, fifth place. Thank you for the hug. Welcome home. We've missed you very much. I was home last week. Just kidding. I missed you guys too. I really do. That poor man. <laughs> First delay. Welcome to Air Canada. You're probably not leaving till fucking tomorrow. Imagine being delayed on Air Canada. Oh. <laughs> hey, Gillies. Get your balls in, guys. I'm pretty sure it's an a. 219 200 or something the second one uh similar to crj yeah but his luggage is already on the way <laughs> i've never flown air canada but i used to t um i use i use them to book flights to korea so on the way to vegas i didn't have any problems did i the only thing that was an issue was my bag. Um, even though they told me and they put it in the thing and it fit in overhead, it like it fit like the, the carry on thing. They were still just checking bags for people who had carry on because um, there wasn't enough space on the plane for everybody's carry on. It wasn't an issue, I guess. On the way back, I had one delay. Keep an eye on how long the delay is to your final destination. Might have to get you some money back. Oh, yeah. I like those planes where the pilot says to the co-pilot, watch me make people shit themselves before he dives straight down. To be fair, I've never experienced any problems with Air Canada. I have done nothing but experience problems with Air Canada. There's, I don't think I've had like a... Well, okay, so the flight from Toronto to Vegas was problem-free. So there's my one. You've got one minute to get your one minute, guys. On Confirm G is a dive and is a di diva and took up all the luggage space. Honestly, there was probably about three people in front of me and like 30 people behind me. And they stopped that per like the three people in front of me and said, we can no longer fit any more bags on the plane uh, in the overhead storage. So we're going to have to put them down <laughs> like, wow. OK, Lendroid, I messaged you a pic of a tiny house on top of a mountain. Nope, she's a dive. <laughs> I'm not a diva. Although I did have to check a bag on the way back from Vegas because I won slash bought too many things. I didn't even buy too many things. I got given like lots of t-shirts at the con. Plus 
I won a couple things. Second confirmation, G is a diva. A dive or a diva, which is it? I do this weird thing though. I try to use different carriers and different equipment whenever possible. What do you mean carriers? Like suitcase? Dive, I'm a dive? What does it mean? What does a dive mean? What does it mean? I thought you guys were calling me a diva. <laughs> I'm not a diva. I recommend flying on the A350-1000. Is that what you're just on? I think it is A219-200. A319-200, mm, I don't think that's the one I flew. I actually have no idea. We looked at them last night. Upstairs on the A380 is where it's at. Dive, dump, mess, which Ginger isn't. Yeah, fuckers. I'm a little bit of a mess. I'm a little bit of a mess. Shh, shh, shh. We have limited choices in Canada. Was supposed to fly to Calgary, then to Vegas, but had plane rerouted to Edmonton to do engine problems and missed a day in Vegas. I was on WestJet. Oh, well, that sucks that you missed a day in Vegas. I'm always worried about like planning trips and vacations places in Air Canada being like, okay, that's fine that you want to be there on the 17th, but how does the 19th sound? <laughs> so I've always got to like use my brain and factor that in. Like if I'm missing a day, how am I going to make up for it? If I'm going somewhere that I have something to do, I make sure I'm there the day before because guaranteed something's going to happen. So I try not to fly with the same airline. I'm trying to have a flight on as many aircrafts as possible the a350 is at the top of the list see that's where you say hot mess g you can 1000 percent claim money back for the expenses absolutely absolutely when i went to london the flight there kind of fucked up a bit but it was more about the flight back they canceled it for 24 hours i got my entire flight paid for like they sent me credits worth $1,300. I found upstairs on the A380 to be quite bouncy. Oh my God, my flight home from Vegas to Toronto. I thought we were going to die, which I, I was so tired. I actually didn't care, but like the turbulence was so bad. We were like hitting like major air pockets and like slamming down. It was weird. I'm like, what are we hitting? <laughs> First up through the finish line was medieval fire. Congrats. Congrats. Medieval fire. All right, second last race, guys. That was the time of flight. It was the middle of the night. It was 12.30, 1. I'm going to join this one too, guys. I found the little house in the picture, Jamie. A350s are typically newer. I found upstairs quite bouncy. I've never been in a plane that had two levels. The A380s are huge. Uh, Emirates uses them. You were hitting other planes, silly. It fucking felt like it. I didn't want to tell you, but the flight out of Vegas is always bumpy. It's is flight, huh? Plenty windy and thermals from the ground going up after a hot day. Okay, that makes sense. But their whole flight. Like, yeah, when you leave airports in downtown Toronto, it's the same thing at Billy Bishop because it's right on the lake. It's very bumpy and windy when you take off. But then it like evens out once you're at like cruising altitude and then you're just chilling. This entire five and a half hours was just... I kept hitting my head off the window because I was like trying to sleep. Anyway, I live my adventures vicariously through Jamie. So it was definitely not just the takeoff and leaving the city. It was the entire fucking trip, which is fine. Like I used to be terrified of flying, like very, very, very scared, like had to get out of van to go across the ocean type fear of flying. I don't have a fear of flying anymore. Uh, my ears always pop flying into Toronto and not a satisfying pop. It hurts bad. Ooh. How annoying it was because I thought, okay, I'll leave in the middle of the night. The original plan was to leave in the middle of the night, uh, like 12 p.m., 12 a.m. technically, sleep the five and a half hours on the plane, stream from um, Toronto. I ended up with a seven hour layover in Toronto, so I thought I'd stream from Toronto, get on that, blah, blah, blah. I didn't sleep. 
But if you look at the storm pattern during your trip, you flew past some monster storms to get to Toronto. I really, it was storming the entire time. Didn't you just extend your first class seat? Huh? Hope you did not break any aircraft with your head. Honestly, you know, like you're, if you've got the window seat, you can just like kind of lean up against it. It was so bumpy that I bop, bop, bop. I'm like, damn it. You've got one minute to get your balls on the Surprise my head didn't break the window. Usually people have a fear of crashing. Yeah, I don't have a fear of flying. I have a fear of suddenly not flying. This is why you need to travel with someone else. You can lean on them to sleep. So when me and Tass traveled together overseas, uh, we just like slept on each other. Uh, blame pilots for ascending, descending too fast. I'm not afraid of flying. I'm afraid of crash. That's the thing. Flying doesn't bother me. Crashing is fine. It's the several minutes leading up to that point. Exactly. Odds are everybody is going to die. You don't have to worry about surviving. It's that couple minutes in between. That's a little bit scary. Serious question. Why don't planes have giant parachutes just in case? You know how big a parachute would have to be to carry a plane? I don't know either. I just made that up. For sleeping, those first class cabins turn into beds. Yeah. Yeah, girl's never been anything but economy. I've never gone on a plane even business class that would be so nice oh my god see the neck pillows do you wear it gap at the front or gap at the back i heard that the gap goes at the back so you can lean your head at the front they have these new like ergonomic ones that have like the sides come up and then there's the back and they're a little more firm get one of those next time i go overseas i will definitely be grabbing one of those the gap at the back is the way it's supposed to be, Sappy. It's not for you to lean back on. It's for you to... It supports your head. And then there's yellow jackets. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Um, sometimes when they land the plane, they can pop the tires on the runway. Well, you're likely not going to die from that one. You'll be all right. Like, once you're on the ground, if bullshit happens. Some planes do have parachutes. Just tiny planes. Just wear a neck brace. <laughs> when I got held over from new york to minneapolis i got upgraded at first for the rest of the trip to SeaTac. it was awesome i've never been anything but economy i've never taken a plane where i'm in like a nice seat <laughs> maybe someday there was a plane designed where the passage carrier carriage could detach out the back and the parachute to safety in case of a crash but wasn't suitable for the majority of planes in use See, I thought of that, but all the pics are people... Yeah, I know, Sappy. We're the ones that are right, though. Medieval, second win. I'll just copy pasta your name. Bah. Fascinating. A good landing is one you can walk away from. A great landing is when you can reuse the plane. I go out of my way to book the middle of the plane. I just enjoy sitting over the wings. Also, my plane ride home, I was in like the 40th seat. I was right at the back, so that didn't help with like the, the turbulence. I also saw the Concorde in New York City take off that trip. That is so freaking cool. It is so cool. I love your amazing Poison Ivy cosplay. Thank you, Devin. Thank you very much. Woo, GG's. Yeah, you get more swaying. I was definitely swaying. I could definitely feel the plane going side to side and up and down. Nick Gundy. Remember this? Oh, it's not working. This was cool, and now I just can't get it to work. Kuda, hi. Ah! Thank you, Dieter. Too much junk in the trunk. Statistically, sitting behind the wings is the safest place to be if your plane crashes. I just want to sit by the engine, so if the engine's what blows up, I just, it's instant death. I don't have to worry about it. All right, dro 1, drop in, guys. Love the nails. Redeemed. Scratch me. Drop. I'm getting them redone. This Look how they're... Okay, so they're grown out. Plus, they're, I've already redone them myself. I need to get them redone. But I don't know what color to go. Part of me wants to go lime green. I've never had lime green nails. Like, is that weird to go lime green? Is it... Is it not it? You're getting Christmas colors? Not yet. Orange. I don't like orange. Is it too early for winter colors? 
Yeah, I think so. I've gone lime green so fun. I figure they should make the entire plane out of the same material they use for the black box. I mean, if they're keeping the black box so safe, why can't they use that the rest of the plane? I feel that. I feel that, Larry. Sent detachable plane cabin video in taco. It's only one minute long. Okay. Lime green or neon green? Oh, like neon, not lime, like neon green. When I was on the plane to Mexico for my honeymoon with my ex-wife, we were, we were, if we'd switch seats with a couple that were on their honeymoon, I paid for extra leg room. I was like, uh, no, oh, you guys were asked to switch and you were like, no. <laughs> Uh, this holiday is nearly over. She might as well go Christmassy. This is true. Drop gay. <laughs> what are winter colors? Like grays, whites, light blues. I feel like those are winter colors. Mario, spicy water and now orange. I like Mario. What do you mean? And spicy water. We definitely be beefing. The black box isn't always kept safe. Sometimes they have to spend months making the data readable. Oh, they asked. Okay, gotcha. I wasn't even thinking Halloween. I just like orange. Oh, I don't like orange. I don't think. Like, I've had my nails, like, um, orange before, like, for the fall, which does make sense. Uh, I've had coral. I like coral. That's, that's orangey pink, right? Christmas is only 55 days away. You want to know how many gifts I've purchased? I'll tell you. Fucking none. That's how many. Big fat zero. <gasps> Ooh, I just had an idea. I just had an idea. Hopefully my mom's on here. I should get her like a tattoo appointment. I know she wants one. She also has this book for her Mustang. And I told her to pick something out of there. Maybe. You said you bought mine. Ooh. Yeah, I, I, that's what I, I mean. I only got one. I got one gift. Super Mario World is superior. Water shouldn't be fizzing. You don't like orange. Carl! Get back in the house, Carl! A 10G? Who? Was it you? Nice. GG, Seppy. I picked out seven bot zero. Picking... I've... Mm, so I feel that, like, picking them out is also... It's like the first step. If I have what I want in mind, I feel more at ease. Has anyone purchased non-integer number of Christmas gifts? I just learned what an integer was and I forgot already. I've got no no's. Congratulations. I've I've got no no's. Hang on a minute. Can't wear orange or yellow, it washes me out. I am definitely like a earth tone fall color girl. I can rock maroon, like dark purple, navy blue, forest green. That definitely matches my skin tone. I don't know what integer is, never mind non integer. <laughs> um, me, yes. I'm. All right, balls in, guys. Exclamation play. Whoa, 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 whoa. So Lisa can't be road workers or a prisoner. This girl is also bright orange pumpkin sweater. <laughs> yes. Like I don't, it's definitely not one of my favorite colors. It's definitely not one of my favorite colors, but you want to know the color I'm drawn to? You guys are going to be so surprised. You're going to be so surprised when I'm looking at like online or in a store or something like that. And I see like a lineup of certain hoodies or leggings or whatever. My brain is like <gasps> burgundy, like this color. And then I'm like, I can't, I cannot buy that because that's too much freaking red on top. Yeah, what, what if it's spelled integer? You rock that pumpkin sweater though. I do like it. But like, I literally am so drawn to maroon, burgundy, reds, all that. Like, I'm like, ooh, does they have it? No, you can't keep, cause my hair is, if my, I'm gonna close that. If my hair and my shirt are the same color, it's like, bleh. Does that not work anymore? Non-integer, not while number negative or zero. So integers are what? Not whole numbers, negative or zeros. 
Anyway, I don't know why, but like if I'm looking at a hoodie or something and I see it in this color, I'm like, yes. And then I'm like, no, I can't wear that. Stopping in while you're still alive real quick. Hi, Party Marty. I love you too. She's loading the dishwasher from the other side of the kitchen. Next time. Next time. There won't be no next time. I'm a tie if you're to set the house on fire. That's called murder. Yes. No, 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 no. Yes. So 1.5 and negative zero and zero or negative one and zero are non-integer numbers. Throwing dishes, hoping they go in. You could if you bundle them. De Saint. So anyway, you've got one last race, guys, on the track. and then I've got to go do things. I've got to remember to also take away my Halloween emotes and get the Christmas ones out. We need to get Thrusty the Snowman. You guys remember Thrusty from last year? He was a funny. Integers are just whole numbers. What the fuck is a whole number? Guys, math and me, we don't get along. Oh, do you guys see my sprout? I got a little sprout. This is from TwitchCon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Those are whole numbers. I think you're thinking of natural numbers. I don't know. So Mullet's closet made is a non-integer number as it's one point or 0 0.5 complete gift. Oh, so a whole number is just not something and a half or a three quarters. Don't change the emotes today, Halloween. Story. Yeah, I just have to create the Christmas ones tonight. I th We need tinker clarification. So a whole number is just not point something then. That's easy. Eek, my birthday present from my husband shipped. What What did he get you again? He's like, he told us. I forget. Ooh, let's go down here and wait by the finish line. Where are last year's? Uh, my old PC. <laughs> Oops. They might be on this one too. I'm not sure. <laughs> Oops. Um, I don't even remember what we had last year, if I'm being honest. I just remember, like, Thrusty the Snowman. I don't want to get him back. Oh, look at that twerking little guy. He's cute. 20 bucks says you don't even look. Don't even look for what? A wrap ring with an orca done in Heda art. A, what's a wrap ring? What's a wrap ring? I want to see. Congratulations, AC. What's a wrap ring? You need a twerking Santa email. I like the twerking thing. If if only there was like clips or VODs to look at. The old ones, you'll just make new ones. I do. I have to find Thrusty though. Let's splat a real good little ball. All right. Hang on a minute. All right, finishing the Grand Prix, guys. Are you ready? Too much kerfuffle. That's the Canadian word. Bam, bam, bam. Medieval Alcurian Wildstar. Medieval Fire. Alcurian. And Wildstar. Congrats, you guys. Kerfuffle causes stuff. Maybe we get a twerking ghost? I don't know. We're gonna do something though. Y'all know the scene in Wedding Crashers when he yells at his mom about meatloaf? Ma! Is that the one? Did I jump scare anybody? Good, you deserve it. Yeah, that says live. Wait, what? What says live? What do you mean? Oh, 
Okay, let's see. Bop, bop, ba do. Um, we're gonna head out. I know. Shut up. Shut up. We are gonna go say hi to. Let's go say hi to Dan. Boo! Dan's not there yet. That's okay. We still have credits and stuff to do. If he doesn't show up by the time we're done credits and stuff, thanks for the stream, Miss G. Have a good rest of your day. Tomorrow is the last day of Halloween cosplays, and it's a good one. So you guys better show up. And thank you for showing no. up on a Monday. No. No. Hey, Gingerbread, didn't want you to forget the pose with the peace sign real quick, just like this. Tinker. Cheers. Chug the Coke. Oh, man, please. Imagine when you mute the mic, it's like reverse. Child, be quiet. Be quiet. We want it? What? Why does everyone live in Northern Canada? Any? Why does anyone live up here? Honest to God. Have ugh, we had any cosplay this month? I only remember four. We like to drink with Ginger because Ginger is our mate. Wait for it, guys. I'm going to belch so hard. I lived up there to get away from people. Clip the burp. Wait for it. Shake it up. Shake it up. <clears throat> my eyes are like. <laughs> Thanks for being here. You little shits, get off my lawn. I'm Again, to I'm here all week. Here. Finally. Last cosplays tomorrow. But if we hit the sub goal tomorrow, I'll throw another cosplay in. Um. What else? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. All everything's back to normal, guys, for the rest of the year. I don't think i don't think that i'm taking any days off no oh, that was fucking lame i we can feel a building sending hello oh my god well now i have to have a new kink <clears throat> week that was so weak guys i am actually embarrassed leave do you plan on having a birthday no i don't stream on my birthday anyway again hello all right, we're gonna go say hi to Dan, but first we're gonna do credits. Thank you guys for showing up on a Monday. I appreciate it. Tomorrow's last cosplay stream of October and Halloween day. What I want you guys to do is utilize a discord, put your favorite costumes you've ever done or costumes you've ever seen in the taco Tuesday section. So that's what we're gonna be doing tomorrow. We're gonna be hanging out in discord and looking at each other's costumes. Same for me, Rob, what subs? Oh God, we're gonna dip below a thousand. Happy birth! I swear to God, it's still not my Royal? birthday. You're gonna be a taco. What should I dress as? I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe I can blast off another one here. That was another lame one, guys. I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> Only another half hour would finish on time for the UK. All right, we're gonna go say hi to our buddy Dan vibes. We love him very much. Make sure you give him a follow. Good echo though. We ha had to put the echo on it. I will be back tomorrow. Now you forced it for us. I think. I mean, if that, if that. Some vomit came up. Admit it. Nice meeting you too, cat. Hopefully we see you tomorrow. I stream Monday through Thursday, twelve thirty three p.m. Guys, don't forget that's actually different now in the UK until next week. Love you. I cannot belch on them. Yeah, no, not really. I will see you guys tomorrow. And tomorrow's cosplay should be pretty good, so. Nice, Ronan. Um, if you guys don't follow the raid. Oh. 4.30 to 7 UK time. Why is it not giving me the full thing? We'll see. There we go. Right here if you guys don't make it over there. I love you guys so, so, so very much. 
And I'll see you tomorrow. Mm, I forget how to raid. I forget. View all. Ugh. It's doing the awkward 10 second thing now. I gotta wait. <laughs> wait, 10 seconds again? This is so embarrassing. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> 